Close. Okay. What I can do is when you pull it up, mm -hmm. I'll shoot a video of it on my phone and then upload that separate just to show them. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Are we you, live right now or no? Um, yeah, we sure. We've got three people. Hey, everybody, can you hear me? What up? Let's see. Does my hat look okay? Gotta, you got it. You see that shit right there? <laughs> I'm an elf. They can't see. There. <laughs> now you get the full effect. Let me back up. I don't like the little hoodie <laughs> Hey, Titan Fragrance for Rover. Dan, how you doing? E. Jean, how you doing? Hey, can you guys hear us okay? Yeah, we can hear you fine. Outstanding. Probably because we're yelling. Yeah. Just kidding. We're not. We can yell. And I think it's actually. Is it going through the mic? Yeah, I think it's this one versus the mic and the camera. Here, we'll see. I'm going to tap on this. Can you hear the tap? Yep, here clearly. Yeah. Is is this what you're hearing? Well, I don't know. Could, oh, that's maybe your... No, because that says <clears throat> microphone. You see right there by your arm? Yeah, but see, that has got mics built into it. So I'm not sure if I have it set up for us using this mic or the mic off of that. But anyways... I was just watching Elf. Ah, outstanding, man. I have him here in person. I'm in person. Do you want an autograph? or <clears throat> I just need to know. It says, I hear both of you and the taps. Okay, so then it is the microphone that it's, this is what's working. Good deal. Outstanding. So we're going to give it a couple of seconds. We'll see how many people show up. I think uh, when I went through, there is a total of... If we get 10,000 people on here within the next five minutes, we'll do this drawing. Yep. How's that sound? Let me move this over to here. But I know that he's, we're pulling up on the random picker over here. We can't put it up here because the intent was we were going to go live on our phone, do the random picker up there. We were going to show you off of there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record it. When we get to that point over here, I'm going to record it, and then we'll upload it later. later. But we're going to tell you who won, and then we'll also post it in that video as yeah. well. So that way we're just above board. Um, we thought as soon as you hit 1,000, you put a live on the mobile, and then That's the on way your it was. phone it said the new, new updated. updated. YouTube is killing me so with this I don't stuff. know how much more we got to do to get it unless we have to have that four thousand well it didn't we have to, to be monetization of i think that's what it is before now before we can go live now. but it used to be once you hit a thousand you could do live on a mobile but you couldn't do because we still do live on the desktop yeah which they're seeing go hello bigger. hello so there was a total of 84 unique comments I know there was a couple of comments that are made from people that are overseas. And if somebody, if something pops up that's somebody from overseas, I apologize. But I think I told everybody before this is going to be CONUS only. The just, mayor of Detroit? Yep. I just was telling him. Oh, yeah. Look not, right there. He's not the real mayor. He's the one that hangs out on Keith's page, Mr. Cheapside. Gotcha. Um, I was just telling him I'm probably going to end up in Detroit in the next couple of weeks. I've got a family member that isn't doing good. And. Um, we'll probably be passing, so I'll be back up there, uh, back home. So, Mayor of Detroit, if you actually live in Detroit, let me know, because maybe we'll link up when I'm up there. Well, Dan kind of Spanos is saying two guys. Dan, are you from Detroit, too? No, we have two. Yeah. You live in Detroit? And the Mayor he of Detroit does. says, I do. Yeah, I'm at... Uh, well, she's moved now. Now we're in the suburbs. It's called Berkeley. Uh, but I was at Seven and Hayes is where my house was at, where I was born oh, and raised. Yeah. Dan says, yeah, that's where he's at, too. Yeah. They're both in Detroit. Outstanding. And then we got um, Chad, who's just up in Toronto. Yeah. Or down in Toronto. we got to go down to go up. Yeah. Around. <laughs> Detroit River is down, and then you go up. So we'll have a bunch of people, but. How cold is it up there right now is what I, I haven't been paying attention to them. I know that when I lived there for two years, it cold. sucks in the wintertime. 
So we've got oh, 19 Chicago. people yeah. showed up so far. I want to say thank you to all you guys. You know, it's hard to drive. Sir. Okay. I know exactly where you're at then. Because you could be doing something else with your evening. So we appreciate the fact that you're here. Yeah. So we're going to give it another four minutes. Well, four minutes and change. We're going to be 10 minutes four in. Minutes. And then we'll start and do um, the random kind of comment picker and uh, give yeah. these bottles away. Like I said before, but if you just join in, I'm gonna record it on this because we just can't go live on our phone. Too. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll upload that to our channel as well. And the, so we're gonna pick four people. So we have three bottles that we're giving away. Berkeley. So we have, yeah. Three. Yeah, and so then um, my buddy, Mark. Oh, he did say. Yeah, he's, he's gonna. I forget what it was again. It's a. Um, it's uh, so four. Yeah, there's four bottles. We're going to pick four people. One person that we pick, I'm going to send your name and information to Mark so that you guys can correlate between the two of you. And Mark is going to hook you up with a bottle as well. When we come to Chicago, um, the only time I see us going to Chicago is if Zaharoff if we uh, go there to, us yeah. to his store or something. I take it you must <laughs> be there. El and if, Padron. And if you're in Chicago, then have you been to Georgia's store personally? Have yeah. you gone inside there? His pop-up. Yeah, I was watching his. It's in the 20s right now in Detroit. God, that's cool. I want to go. That is cold. Yeah. I was saying it's cold here when it was in the 20s, and I had my. Yeah, and they're not here. talking 20 Celsius. They're talking 20 degrees. Yeah, oh, he's yeah. saying 12, so it drops down to 12. 12 at night. Yeah, that sounds miserable. That's why I live here. Because today it was beautiful, wasn't it? We talked about that the last live feed that we were on. Um, the Detroit River needs to freeze, a yeah, solid that's... freeze to get a good walleye bite yeah, that's for the next saying. several years. So I'm hoping that they do freeze. I hope the Detroit River freezes from Detroit all the way over to Toronto. Now, Padron, when you go there this weekend, make sure to tell George that we said hello. I watched Thank the you. video where he does the walkthrough of that building. That building is beautiful. He uses yeah. just a tiny little portion of the front of it. Yeah. And you then know, blocks off the rest. Yeah. And he doesn't even have anything on the second floor right now. Yeah. When you make the first flight, there's a landing that's that's probably that's this cool. room size and our studio yeah, size. He's going to go this weekend. He needs to pick up a bottle. Yeah. I just saw him post where he sold out again. Yeah. Uh, uh, Dillard's. Is it Nordstrom's? Nordstrom's or Dillard's? Nordstrom's. I thought it was Nordstrom's. Yeah. That's what the post was. So uh, he, George is doing real good right now. Yep, he sure is. I'm heading to Georgia's store or Georgia's store soon to visit and meet the gentleman. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, he really, really is. And he helps out a lot in the community. And he, he's, I really think he's just trying to bring all of us together. That's why he's doing this series on YouTubers. Yep. And uh, I don't think he's just doing YouTubers, though. I think he's doing personalities. Yeah, I think so too. Well, you know, no, because... I think with the exception of Mr. Dr. Fragrance, 917 or the very right. first guy. And then you have, I I believe, Musing of a Fraghead is going to be in that somewhere. You think? Well, which he's... is John. Yeah. John Harper he... is. Um, he's a reviewer he's as well. He's a personality, but he's not really a YouTuber. But he's nah. in the YouTube community and he's in Facebook. Yeah, he's in Facebook. Well, I, I wouldn't be shocked. Holy smokes. Look who that, who just popped up. Rogue no eight. Holy smokes. Hey, what how are you doing, brother? Thank you for taking the time to pop your head he in here. He interviewed you guys. Yeah, he interviewed us. Um, we were the second one to, be, to for him to come visit. Or yeah, third. And, third and one. We were the third one because it was... The guy you just mentioned, yeah. and it was Ross, and, and then was us. us. But he reshot the one with Ross because he didn't like it, and I know he shared with us the clip of it put together of us, but I don't know if it's yeah. when it's ever going to post, or and he may and, not like that one, and maybe and it's to reshoot that. Super one. long, it's like yeah, an hour long, yeah, like forever. Yeah, it was like a, a session at at a, you know, what would you say? At uh, what do you call a person you go and talk to? Therapist. It was like a therapy section. Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, because you're trying to take two stories and, and mash was, it together. Yeah. He was trying to follow the timeline. Like, where were you at? Where was I at? Where yeah. were you at? He would get like, lost. He'd get lost. <laughs> we'd get lost. And so, like, yeah. yeah. I don't know. He. I think he, at one point he said it. Would, it should probably be broken into two different ones. And then when we got. Together. Oh. Yeah, that's my um. My uh, setup that I use when I go out on loca location. I well, I told him this is like a. Yeah, he was in here playing with it yesterday, pew, like pew, it was pew, a fifty pew. cal machine gun. 
You see what I deal with? <laughs> I could be playing with that all night. You got to put the helmet on so they get the. Because this is oh, yeah. what I dealt with the other day. Because what we're doing is we're trying to get a bunch of uh, content. <laughs> James, I am your father. <laughs> We're trying to get a bunch of content made because he's going on vacation. So uh, we were recording yesterday. He came in and he was having oh, he a won. Yeah. Wait, it's, how do you turn that on? I didn't It'll put be, any batteries in it. It's dead, Obi-Wan. It's dead. <laughs> I don't have the force. And those are actually props for a video that we're going to do. It looks like now after the Christmas season. Yeah. So we're going to do it. Next a, year. Yes. Honestly. Okay, we're at ten forty-five. Yeah, so let's let's get this started. And once again, man, Rose, I can really, really appreciate the fact that you show up. This is the second time that you have, and we've done a live. So, man, that means the 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 world to us. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do again. Okay, you ready? On my phone. Okay. okay so On my phone, what I'm gonna do pair. is I am currently recording the second screen over here. Okay, the very first person that has won is Christopher C. Hensley. Is that how you say that? Hensley. Hen yeah. Hennes. H e n n e s s y. So, so are we going to go left or right? That would be the Green Irish Tweed. Matt, no, what we're going to do is we're going to pick three names, and then we're going to just arbitrarily throw them in a box. So you're not going to know what you're going to get, but you're going to get one of the three frags <laughs> that we said. We're that way it keeps it really <laughs> simple for us. <laughs> I'm shaking them all over. We're so good. <laughs> yeah. I so, thought we were going to go like left to right. Yeah, and then, uh, we're, the last one, the fourth one, would be the one that Mark's, Mark's going to do. Yeah, we're going to just make this really simple. So okay. that so is first the first winner. one is Christopher C. Hensley. And wait, what is the what was the comment Says I haven't tried those. Sounds so damn good. Congrats, thousand. Please enter me in the giveaway. Okay. So, all right. So. Because I want to see one where it's like a spammer that says you guys suck. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. Okay. Get YouTube comments so that we can do it again. And we'll hit start. So here we go. Okay. Winner number two is. Lou, how you see, Lou Chavez says it's congratulations um, on the 1,000 winner. Man, I think this dude this is, is the guy that congratulations on your 1,000 subscribers, subscribers, and he's got like emojis for days. I think this is the guy that won on the sample set from the 500. Really? I think, but I'm not sure. The name really sounds I, familiar. I thought that was Amanda. No? No, the not Dior. the Dior. They won the Dior. I think this guy won the sample set from so that's Central number two. Congratulations. Absolutely. And I don't see any of those names here, so they didn't show up. Shouldn't have to. And number three. Here we go. We'll hit start. Connor Riggins says, congrats, guys. Please enter me in the giveaway. So Connor, I think you might be able to just hit that pick another winner underneath it instead of going think? under. Yeah, that might be. Because that might be another random. Okay. Put that for number four. We're going to do number four. Congratulations, Connor. Oh, yeah. yeah okay, and then it just deal. hit start. So next time we know. First time using it for me. Freddie Bagel, right? Fred Bagley. Nice video. Please enter me in the 1,000. Now, Fred, you are the only person that is going to know kind of what you're getting because I am going to give your information to Mark. to Mark so that you guys can talk. Mark is going to get you a bottle from one of the people that he's been getting some fragrances from lately that he has been really impressed with. Hey, what's happening? <laughs> so congratulations to the four of you. I re We really appreciate it all of the time you guys have spent watching our content and us making fools out of ourselves because it has been fun. And, and, well, look what I'm he's wearing. <laughs> look what he's wearing. All right, I'm going to end this one. Congratulations, yeah. to everyone. And then we'll still stay live on this one. I'm For a little bit. upload this onto our channel so that way it's officially Yeah, it's, there. it's a record. Can we not put this in? 
the community tab? Yeah, we can put that in the community tab. I'll try and see if I can figure that out from the phone. Yeah. So I'm going to end this one. It says, for a minute there, I thought you were saying I was going to send him a bottle. No, no, no. Yeah, no. you have to send him a bottle, and yeah. then he'll send it to us. Yeah, no. I like that idea. It's another mark, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> but if you really feel like you want to be you know, generous, please, by all send means. Absolutely. So let's see. I'm going to scroll up on the comments because we didn't get a chance to really look at them this last couple of minutes. I want to make right. sure. I did see one where they said, how did you get entered? And we had posted our 1,000 subscriber, and we just said you had to be uh, make a comment there, be subscribed, subscribed. And like that one. Yep. And you are instantly put into this drawing. We're just now, with me being sick and, and with you're gone. the hectic scheduling, this is just the first day that we've been able to actually get together and do this one. Yep. And Rob Vanilla said, Outlaw or Bust. Absolutely. That's what I'm talking about, Dan. Um, James Pearson, congrats on both of you. Okie dokie. Thank you very much, James. Hey, guys. What's up? Yep. Uh, David Sanchez. What's up, brother? B, A, B, Wife for Life. Hey, A, B, Wife for Life. Okay, so I don't recognize that handle, but you know me from my motorcycle days because you called me Tank. Tell me who you are. Tank. Yeah. Because you're built like a brick shit house. Huh? Yeah, that's actually what's my road name. Thank you. That's why I'm like, who are you? You know me from nice. years. Congratulations. Enjoy y'all show. Y'all have a good night. Good night, Jess. Thank you. Um, thanks for the giveaway, James Rose. Congratulations again on 1K. Congrats. Send me a bottle of robes. Taffy J wants a bottle from robes. Yeah, okay, good luck with that. I'm pretty <laughs> sure Mr. Mark yeah, Rose so the bottle. <laughs> will take care of you. Yeah, he said, just like we'll give everyone a bottle. Yeah, you get a bottle, and you get, get a bottle, bottle, and you get a bottle, and you yeah. get a bottle. Everybody check underneath your seat and see what you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a dog, dog kibble. Dog he's kibble. got little tiny doggies, which are so cute. And Tabby says, we all do laugh out now, James, yeah. I'm really curious. I want as the person. As it sounds, I have as many bottles as you have subs. I have a problem. Yeah. And the, yeah, we have a or problem too. Have. We don't have enough subs, but we're working on that. You know, and I'm working on the bottles. Though. Yeah. <laughs> and it has been a straight grind. And I think, you know, that from your experience, you know, Mr. Rob's 08, I you have artists. been on this platform for what, 11 years now? Well, he was the one of the very Rose very, 08. Was he not the first one to come up with like top 10? Like I'm, lists, I'm, seasonal top 10 lists? I'm not exactly sure. I mean, let us know. I believe he was. I believe he was the one that came I up. I know he's so. one of the very, very first guys to, to get on YouTube and do reviews. Can I have watched all those? Oh, yeah. All right. Where is this guy that called me Tank? I thought it was a girl because it said wife, didn't it? Something yeah, wife. something. Right there. The A B wife for, for life. life. So yeah. what does A B mean? I have no idea. You said it was part of your motorcycle. Is well, that still a motorcycle thing? No, I have the A B wife for life. I have no idea. Can you click on it? Um, well, not when we're doing this. Oh, is that you getting a phone call? No. So is, does anybody? Oh, wait a minute. It says the mayor says sign of red tobacco blind buying worth. You know what? I don't know. Rob's 08. I do you have that fragrance? You know, I've had a couple of people since we did our top four tobacco really talk about that one, and I have I don't have it. I've heard people hyping it up. I have not gotten my nose up. Yeah, that one, I, but that is a lot of people like, say that they like target. it. You know, I'm not sure if it has resemblance to hey Steve Random man, what's up, brother? That's one kid that I watched when he when Steve started, he looked like a kid. Literally, what does he do? He is Regular a YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, now he's got a beard and a mustache, and he's all grown up. Yes, buy it. It's great. Yeah, that's so. <laughs> red tobacco is great. Buy it. Yeah, I. Why buy it? Is is what he's saying. <laughs> I'm going to tell you get a sample. Yeah. You know me. <laughs> I am the blind buy king. I blind buy everything, and then I tell you whether it's good or not. So y'all possibly don't have to do that. But we our man know. says it's one of his favorite tobacco scents. Oh, Mark says Marcina is not a brand I talk. Yeah, I've noticed that. 
own one bottle. That's it. One bottle. That's unusual because you own, you have, I think you've stated that you have almost as many bottles or maybe more that we than have subscribers. So not only that, but models. got more bottles than, um, Ashley. No, my brain just shut down right adolescence. Steven? Yes. Steven has a huge collection, and I know that he does too. Well, and I've heard you talk I about like your. I know between Steven and Ashton, who has the bigger yeah. collection. Well, I think that it, it'd be a close run between Mark from Rome's 08, Steven, and Ashton. Those guys all have huge. amazing collections. And I heard Mark from Rome's 08 one day say he's got the biggest crappy collection because you bought a ton of stuff oh, to just do reviews tobacco on. was sent for free the reviewers careful about fake hype wow yeah it wasn't sent yeah it wasn't us. It we're, us we're too small to get any of these free bottles we're yeah. not we're not approached by companies and to be honest with you we haven't reached out to any of these companies that a bunch of these are uh i know cremo is being approached There's by a bunch, bunch of people the smaller ones and we actually did a cremo yeah. video the other day and i have been using cremo forever so i have all but just one of those fragrances right. and if you yeah, watch that video one one you gave me. yeah if you watch that video you'll see that i fly by way too much I, and too it goes with all of us you'll see that the levels of them reflect that i've had them for quite a while yeah. let's because see 18 21 is fantastic yes it is 1821 is the bomb. I'll tell you what, I love that one. See, Russ, did you figure who was the real Slider Man? Spider Man? Um, Slider Man? <laughs> yes. Um, but he has sworn me to secrecy, so I can't tell you all. Yep. Sorry. And and I was kind of disenfranchised from Spider Man for a little bit, and that's how I ended up. You know, sliding down and yeah, we got hanging together. out with us with me. He was <laughs> slumming. That's slumming how he ended now. up here. So, <laughs> so let's yeah, see. We get a lot of that for um, J. Jonas Jameson. Yeah, and then um, there's uh, somebody said your voice sounds like one of the characters from Dead Redemption, Dead yeah. Red Dead Redemption, the video Red game. Redemption. Yeah. And let's see. Steve Ram says red tobacco can be too heavy on the sweet tobacco vibe. Gives off. It gives off, so I would recommend, recommend sample it. For, yeah, and we're a big component, man. You should try to get a sample or a decant of whatever that you're thinking about buying, especially if it's expensive. Yeah, That's because man. Ford sent us Naxos, which is how we were able to do that four-bottle review. Yeah, because we ain't got know. the money to pay for that. Um, and I was really thinking it was going to be super, super sweet, close to 1821, and it's, it's in the same vein. But the two totally different scents. Yeah, absolutely. You got honey dominant, and then that one you it's much drier. The best was was drier. It wasn't that sweet. Like I wasn't getting it. Like yeah. eighteen twenty one, which is why I love the eighteen twenty one. Let's see. Colin says I can't afford to blind buy too much, and we can't afford to blind. We can't afford to buy too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh. well, especially, I have done. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. We have a rule in our family that we can't buy anything for ourselves in December, and I stuck with that rule. I did not buy a single fragrance in all of December. Everything that I've shown them yeah. was Black Stop Friday and all that kind of stuff. Yep. And so next year, when we come back in January, those will be when I start picking back up. Buying yeah, because I'm showing bought, what I got for Christmas. Yeah, the last thing I bought was the order that I got from fragrance.ca. Was the Pradas by night? Yeah, Prada. the Pradas and then the bottle of that was our huge top ten yeah. haul of fragrances. Let's see. I have to go. Congrats. Okay, Dan. Have a good night. You we appreciate you coming by and absolutely. always supporting us. I, I really appreciate it. Yep. And Colin, man, I appreciate yeah, seeing you over, over and over, man. It has meant the world to us. I did see K see the post where the newest Dior they took the iris out again, but no, we don't have a bottle of that brand yeah. new one. Yeah, that's the Dior Home Sport, and it doesn't have iris. And I responded to your comment, Colin, about the other ones. Detroit. Yeah, there is. I'm not sure where you heard that, but the only fragrance in that line that they removed the iris from is just the Sport, and that was in 2017. It was Jeremy fragrance today, I believe. It was a video either today or yesterday, and he said that the newest release, the brand new one as of now, they now removed the iris out. From what? Dior. Really? Dior one. Dior and that's, that's what he's asking about because 
um, of that video is where I saw it. I don't oh, know if I someone else I don't, has put it out, but that's where I saw yeah, it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't watch Jeremy Fragrance. Hey, Mark I've from Rob Zoe, have you there. heard anything about them removing removing the iris from DR own? Because I'd be much more willing to to believe Rob Rob Zoe. Dior own. Is slowly making themselves no more new. mainstream. They're slowly turning into a Chanel. Yes. And he's saying yes for us. It was um, Jeremy's. I, I forget what video it was on. Yeah. He, I think he was sampling um, maybe the Roja line or he was doing a different video. Maybe Roja was yesterday's video. But I still watch him. I still watch all these. Everyone. Yeah. My here. my consumption of, of YouTube videos is really retracted and I, I'm happy that way, you know. And I'm definitely not going to spend the time watching that Jeremy ding, Fragrance. Yeah, when you heard the, the ding. Was that I get a notification every time someone posts a new video? Yeah. So it's like, oh, watch that one. Bing. And everyone knows that I listen to these a lot more than I actually watch them because I drive so much. Yeah. And like so I watch. I do it a lot. Robes 08 stuff. I watch Chad You're Fragrance. Slowly making themselves more mainstream. Yeah. If they take yeah, the Dior out of that line, I mean, if they take the Iris out of the Dior own line, to me that'll kill it. That's the one note in that entire gamut of fragrances that really sets it apart from everything else. And now he's saying he needs Dior Home Intense before it's castrated. Now that you got him hooked on it. Yeah, that stuff is amazing. <laughs> And then right. Rob says, react to Robes 08. I'm not exactly. Retracted. Oh, he retracted. Robes 08 retracted the uh, gotcha. statement back to him. But then he said, right. But then if you up to the one above that, he's uh, saying that they're slowly turning themselves into Chanel. That, if they're true. removing the iris from all of it, I would say yes. Yeah. It would be more mainstream that way. Yeah, but that takes the heart and soul out of that whole fragrance line. Yeah. You know, the Dior own line. And we just did that one where we sampled all those Dior because of the uh, that note, note of the day, day. Yeah. which was Iris that day. And it was really my first time ever sitting down just going after the Iris notes. Yeah. And it was pretty interesting. Because it was cool because you, you had smelled Blue Fire, which EJ had said was an Iris bomb. And remember when I smelled, I was like, no, not at all. Right. So when you got to go through all of those, you really got to experience that note that I absolutely, and it's my I, favorite note perfumery. We were just talking about the other one where I smelt it and it was wax. Instead yeah. Instead of like a creamy, and I forget what the name of that one was again. Yeah, that is. Totally different. It is one of these Moscolanos. I can't remember which one it was either. It's not Tango. And these are all samples that we did. Did we publish Leticia. that one already? No, but it's ready. Oh, so you're gonna get a, a preview of it ahead of time. Then. Yeah, I want to say it's this one because we've already shot this, this video, video, but it's probably waiting on me to go in and put tags in the thumbnail and description. And, yep. But each night I keep coming over yeah, here. It's that right there. So this is Leticia by this Mask one, Milano. This one is the lipstick bag one. No, this is the. This is the three iris butter ones. And now I got it on my nose. Yeah. You spray see, how many look, sprays on that? So that thing three, is wet. See right there, there's iris root butter, iris root butter, iris root butter, tuberose, which is iris again, and then ABS. Yeah. So this I, I love, absolutely love the note of iris. But this is strong. Yeah, this is iris butter, which is definitely way different. And this comes across really waxy. <clears throat> and, and yeah, not I, it's not something I would wear. Yeah, me neither. You know, this is a wonderful house. They make some stuff. You know, keep an eye out for this you review. Want to show them in the camera. What do you want me to show them? <laughs> no, that. Oh, yeah, I did. So, that way they can. Can you see it? I just yelled in the microphone. Are we flipped? Sorry. No, no, because I'm on the right side yeah. and you're on the left side. See, so. you can read that. It looks backwards. Uh, well, if it's backwards, they can read it backwards. No, because I'm on the right side <laughs> and you're on the left side. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. we're, we've got it the right way. Yeah, but we did a review on, review I think I've got five of them from this line. Much deserved. That's awesome. Exactly. I couldn't believe when I saw this, first thing I thought of was... Oh, and then he like lost his statement. So yeah, I don't know what he's saying. 
Uh, Dior absolutely nailed Iris. And yes, was they so did. So controversial when they released it. Loved the. Dior yeah, because that was back in 2009 when it first came out. It was definitely. That's it what it was, was on. What? Jeremy Fragrance. Why are you? Did, sorry, sorry, Mark. Did a Dior, kind of like we did, but he didn't do it on Iris. So he had Dior Fahrenheit. He had Dior Sauvage. He had Dior Ohm. He had Dior, and that's where he put out that the newest Dior Ohm had the iris removed again. Well, no, it's never had it removed again. But he's saying it's not in It the might be not release. in this newest release. The only Rock one out of that line out. that started out with no iris is the Sport. And that was, I, Mark, was that released in 2009 or 2010? And then it was reform, reformulated in 2014. And that is when Francois Dimashi redid it, and I just mangled his name. He says, why are you yelling when yeah. you got all up on the mic? <laughs> yeah, I was sorry about that. And then when he reformulated the first time, that's when they added the note of Iris into it. In 2017, the second reformulation for DR Own Sport is when they removed the Iris note again. So, yeah, Ylang Ylang, Jasmine, and what is that one, Up and Max? Are all Optimex. on the, the chopping list. He's, they're saying for 2021. But are you so? Well, you know, those if are, there's something that has Ylang Ylang in it, you should probably be picking it up in 2020. Yeah. Oh, 2009 is when the Dior Sport came out originally, and that was originally done by the IFA, the IFRA, if I remember right, because that's who when um, Dior brought that line back in and hired an in-house perfumer. So, and, and put and, it back in? Well, is what you're saying? Okay, or? here, we're gonna slow down. Dior Own Sport originally, well, actually all of the Dior Own line was not done originally by an in-house perfumer at Dior, okay. okay? That whole line was outsourced by the IFAA, I think. I wanna say, I think Rob, Mark will correct me if I'm wrong, but then when they took that line back into their own possession for them to uh, manufacture. manufacture it, Francois Dimache is the perfumer that went through and redid all of them. When they did that is when they added the iris note into Dior Own Sport. 2017, they reformulated Dior Own Sport again and oh, yeah. that's when they pulled it out. That's the only so fragrance. So present day, it doesn't have it. Yeah. The only two fragrances in that line that do not have iris in it right now to this day is Dior Homme Cologne. And Dior Sam Homme Broom. Sport. Sam Broom's in the house. Dior hired. Yeah, Dimache and Hughes. Yeah, absolutely. Previously, so they can own it all. Yep. Because it would, Mark, was it, was it the IFAA that originally, that, Created those the Dior own line for them. I want is it this IFRA regs, um, or is that different than what you're talking about? They killed the sport. The original was so beautiful. Oh, you like the version with no iris in it? I actually prefer the 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 second version. I don't own no Dior. Yeah, they're they're. I don't, I don't even own Dior Sauvage. To be honest. Yeah, I, I own a bunch, away of, to go like that. A Dior. bunch of Dior, uh, decans of yeah. samples from the mall. <laughs> but yeah, to me, that is the quintessential line, I think, that really elevated the house of Dior, in my opinion, is the Dior. When they did the Irish? Well, no, just they? the whole line of Dior Home itself. Because before that, the one line that was super popular was Fahrenheit. Right. And Fahrenheit has an enormous amount of flankers. I mean, an enormous amount of flankers. And then when Dior Homme came out, was the first line that came out that focused on the note of Iris. What, and Stephen continue to show love to the little guys. Yes, and they we did. appreciate it very, very much. Does not own any Dior. No door. I don't own a door one. Yeah. Yeah, he does <laughs> not own, own no doors. <laughs> He's all Dior. Yeah. Russell doesn't own any. I have the whole no. line. I really, really love it. You know, yeah, if I need it, I just come over here in the morning. Yeah. I'm good. Because pretty much my collection has been open to you for whatever you want to sample or use since we've I been just, hanging out. I just like smelling it. Yeah, so do I. Hey, um, Steve Rana, what is your... Russ, your, that's the open door policy. Yeah. 
What is your <laughs> your your uh, um, wow? All of a sudden, I'm speaking dumbass again. <laughs> oh, I love it when I can't speak English. What's your sub count? Are you still here with us, Steve Random? Because I used to watch you quite a bit, and then YouTube, in their infinite wisdom, actually removed you as one of the channels that I was subscribed to. Yeah, and I just recently resubscribed. Does any of the rest of you guys that have a channel have that same thing? Rush, you can come. <laughs> come see me when you need some of the Dior line in your life. All right. I yeah, because when you when you slim down your your collection, you let me know. Yeah, no doubt. Because that's we were just this last week we shot those videos and we were talking about when we find bottles on the second second hand and they're at good prices. Yeah, it's that's when you need to jump on them and not you know just full retail. Yeah, because I've only bought two two fragrances full retail. Yeah, you got Flame. Yep. And um, what was the other one? Oh, um, Jean Paul got the Ultramon. Yeah, Ultramon. Because the then I had bought the clone so yep. we could compare it. It was uh, Wonder Man. Yep. We did the comparison on those two. Yeah, if you end up back in Detroit, man, he is just not that far from you. Who? Um, Martin uh, from Rob's O8. The OG. Well, he's in Canada. Yep. He's up there with Chad, right? Yeah. How right, far are you away right from Chad? Right across the river. Because I know Chad is in Toronto, but I think Mark is a little bit further away. Ultra, um, oh, yes. Yeah, it was Ultra Money. Yeah. But those are the only two fragrances that I've ever spent full retail on. Everything else. It depends else, on what you're calling full retail. Because when I go some to a, people say TJ Maxx is paying retail, but no, it's not. No, it's not full retail. And I buy a lot of stuff. Yeah, that's TJ dis- Maxx, Ross, Amazon. Yeah. Um, but I really haven't put my foot into, like, you did the fragrance CA um, order. Fragrance, is it fragrance net? CA? Yeah, that's fragrance CA. That's a, a discounter just like TGMAX. Right, I haven't used them. Yeah. And I, I haven't have. delved into them yet. I've used fragrance.net. Um, there's a, probably three or four of them online that I've used. I will say I've had the best luck with fragrance.ca. The prices are okay, but the thing that keeps me going back if I'm going to buy is uh, their customer service because fragrance.net is just burnt their bridge with me. I won't buy anything. Well, from them during anymore. that haul video, you said one of the issues was that they only ship to the U.S. on Mondays. Yeah. So you gotta kind of got to wait, which is kind of the same issue you have kind of with genre. You kind of got to wait and catch that opening uh, to order. Yeah, genre is and a then, whole you know, other you story. wait for it to come in. But yeah. But, you know, with that's, fragrance, a, that's a difficult situation to deal with there, but at the same time, the quality of juice kind of makes you sit there and wait for it, like black cherry. Yeah, it's know, good. You can only get it from them because that's their version. Yeah. So I have Let's to get see. another bottle of black cherry now. Fragrance Buy is great. So is Fragrance X. I haven't ever purchased from Fragrance X. Let's see. And you do like you fragrance like fragrance dot net? net? Why? Why don't you? I, okay, I can tell you why I personally don't. I used to buy a huge amount from them. I had probably two orders where I had purchased a fragrance and them in their infinite wisdom decided to remove it from their catalog, mm-hmm. not notify me as a customer and by saying, hey, by the way, the fragrance that you bought and paid for, we don't have in stock anymore. So would you like to be... Would you like a refund or would you like to purchase something else? They just didn't say anything. It didn't send me the fragrance. The second thing that I absolutely can't stand. Is that the one that just keeps canceling orders? Yeah, yeah, they'll cancel orders too. And the second reason is that when you go and you try to deal with their customer service, they do not give a shit about you. They don't try to help you out. Their, Their attitudes are horrible. I just have never had a positive experience with fragrance.net. Fragrance X coupon code. Rogue I'm so wait, yeah, yeah. I need to check them out. I know that you do a bunch of stuff they with them, Mark. Order on people that raise the price. Yes. Or I had them like the first time I had a problem. They had your own. I mean, not your own. They had your Savage for a really, really good price. And this was before I had a bottle. So, fine. Like anybody else, I went, got there, ordered it. Waited and waited and waited for my package to show up. Nothing ever shows up. Rob Whip in the house. Fragrance that sucks. And then I finally, 
yeah, I finally contacted the company and they're like, oh, well, we gave you, we, we refunded your money. I was like, well, because how often do you go and look to see if you have a refund in your checking account? Right. I was like, man, you guys didn't send me an email. You didn't say anything. Rogue, rogue nothing. So, yeah, they do. They're horrible. They you know, their prices. Plenty of times, Sam said. Yeah. Their prices are good, but man, as a company overall, they're horrible. Sam's got me sold on. Um, I was watching one of his older videos. I watched it the day he released it, but it was a Cartier or a Cartier. Um, God, I'm trying to remember the name of it. It was a mint. So any of that bringing? I forget which one that was, Sam, that you did, but that is on my Amazon watch list. <laughs> I have it on the watch list. And if it, if it hey, drops Rob, in place, I'm going to jump on that it. thing because the way he described it, it's, I, I really yeah, want to try, try that it. one. Yeah. See, Rob Zoe says, any website that publishes the stock and out of stock? Rob yes. Says, What's up, fam? Pleasure. To yeah. See you. It's good to see you, Rob. I'm not a fan of. Absolutely. I'm 100% with you there. Rob says it's Roadster is what you're thinking of. That's the one with Mint in it. Yeah, okay. Cartier Roadster. Yeah, I got to try that one. Let's see, Rob says, just in oh, case, Max of- Aroma has a 40% off PDM, which is one of my favorite houses. Matter of fact, we're doing a series on yeah. perfumes to Marley. And I don't know where my elf on a shelf just ran off to. So if he ends up in your living room, send him back because we got stuff to do when we're done here. No, I'm going to tell him about a mint fragrance. Oh, yeah. This is actually, he brought this the other day. It's been my scent of the day. So let me. This oh. is absolutely, I will say, okay. wonderful. And we're not going to do oh, a it full smells review, good now. Does it, not? Oh, it does smell really, really, really This good. is mint and chocolate. And Bath and Body Works did a big special this last week, um, $5 for any bottle. And so we found Christmas cocoa and mint. And literally, this thing smells exactly, exactly. like a peppermint patty. When when we did oh my God. Um, crypto, mint. crypto mint, I told you I was expecting this. Yeah, and I found it in a five dollar bottle. That and they're so good. They're really only seven ninety nine, and it lasts all day. I was thinking that this just because it just says fine fragrance mist, but it actually has long staying power. Yeah, and it smells amazing. It really, really does. So for Christmas, you know yeah. what? Not just for Christmas, because this kind of got a little bit of a sexy vibe too. Yeah, and this can be worn by. Well, an elf on a shelf or elf a female. On a shelf, <laughs> uh, uh, elf Santa helper. Yeah. This, I'm really, really impressed with it for five bucks. And how many mils is in this? is eight ounces. So yeah, 236 mils. You know, you can smell really, this is wonderfully. Unisex. If you want to smell like a York peppermint patty, patty, guy or girl, it doesn't this, matter. This works wonderful. But yeah. I got people at work. Rob says, last all day. Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah. He's get, he says he's getting an, a full work day out of it. Yeah, I came in and I, did you smell me tonight? You no, smelled me the other night. Yeah, the other night. I yeah, came yeah. in and I didn't refresh from the morning. Yeah, this is a great pickup <clears throat> for what it is and for five bucks. This is a no brainer, yeah, especially if you like gourmands, gourmands and you like. I'm finally going to say blind buy something if yeah. you like the smell of it. You got to like chocolate. You got to like mint because this is. A peppermint patty in a bottle. Yeah. It definitely has that whole nasal opening thing. It's this is outstanding. So yeah, like, it's it doesn't blast. Um like I think it was about five o'clock. Well, I'll tell you what, I had sprayed it just like my original. Since you sprayed was. your mustache, didn't you? <laughs> it didn't spray my mustache. No. <laughs> it's it's been over twelve hours. I think it's dead yeah, it's, off. It's, or is it's it barely there. there. So you still got a skin scent after 12, well, it's 8.30 now, so yeah. it's 13 hours, and he's still picking it up. I never resprayed this. Yeah. Ever. This smells amazingly good for being super cheap. You know, I, I got to say, I really, really like it. I just it. can't believe it lasted that long. I thought it was going to be one of those cheapies that every two hours you so got to just spray. respray, respray, respray. Um, and I, I thought it would be one of those lunchtime respray, but it's not. Smell like... <clears throat> No. 
<laughs> that's Letitia. Yeah. That's the that stuff is good. Letitia, I don't care for at all. No, I don't like. That. I, would, <laughs> I would never wear that one. I don't understand. Yeah, me neither. And we talked about this. You really the need to watch the bag, the, the whole uh, wax. This is different. This is the not, waxy. I, this is really, it's harsh. It's got a really bitter kind of iris note to it. I am not a fan of this at all. That's, yeah. I don't give many thumbs down because I still like experience a lot, yeah. but I don't like that one. It says, you reminds your me. Mustache. I did. That's how I. It says, reminds me uh, of. My gap gas filled best grassy scent ever and was like, like 10, 10 bucks. bucks. Yeah. That, that thing is the bomb. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Cheap. We should have probably picked up like 10 bottles of stuff and just done a bath and body works. Yeah. I wish you, you know, would have got me a bottle of that. Hall type thing. Let's see. For eight fluid ounces. I mean. Yeah. And see, Titan and Fragrances. I didn't get it. Ronnie got it for me. My son got it for me and brought it back. And said it's five bucks. Do you want it? And I gave him five bucks. Yep. And after I smelled it, I was like, yeah. yeah. Good night, Titan. Titan fragrance reviewer man. Thanks for being here with us and hanging out and for tagging us in the uh, clone video. Yeah. We okay, that wasn't that a dig at you. That no. was just my view on that whole subject itself. Period. I hate to say good night, but gotta run. Yeah. Love the support. You know, the, channels. the everyone on here have a great night. The AB wife for life never did respond again. They may have jumped off after saying that. Yeah, man, I really wish. After sure. a lot of people jump off as soon as they realize it. And they didn't win. Yeah, because, yeah. man, that's a name that you, you have to know me for years in order to know Tank. Yeah. If you ever look at my artwork, it's all signed Tank. Have you ever noticed that in here? No. Yeah. But it is. That's yeah, tank. That's, that's tank. tank. That's tank. Yeah, that was. We should have done when I was doing that on my phone. I should have went around and showed them all your. Yeah, my artwork. Yeah, did you, you can do that one. Yeah, everything that you've seen here, I the, the photos. You did that one. Yep. Here, this I'm gonna give you guys a little seasick, but we'll show you what we are talking about. Sorry about the whole shaky dakey. Here we go. Show them that one. The chick. The chick, which oh. Yeah, the chick is high. That's my that's my ex-wife. So <laughs> and this is all airbrush work that I did when I had my motorcycle shop. Like I like the cowboy too, but I'm really into western stuff. Yeah, and that's a photo that I took. I like I've said many times, I used to do a lot of still photography. And then these panels are all airbrush work. And James loves himself so much stuff. <laughs> he got a picture of himself That's above, right. his, above his cam, uh, computer. Yeah, that but photo I that's like above that one. I took. These the are, color scheme in that tribal type flame look. Yeah, and then you can see the stuff over here. This is all and all he, stuff that I painted. He he has sold his soul to the devil. So if you ever see horns on him, yeah. This one I used to have hanging up. I used to live at my shop when me and my second wife split up. And every once in a while, she would show up just like most exes. Out of the blue? Yeah. She wouldn't spend the night with me when I had that hanging over the... the I had red a, one or the... The red one. Okay. Yeah, I had to take it off the wall in order for her to spend the night. She says, oh, I'm not sleeping underneath that. <laughs> and then... I'm not sleeping with the devil. <laughs> <laughs> And then what else? You have your fender for your motorcycle. Yeah. You have your. Uh, and then I painted that. Waterboard. The, yeah, that uh, snowboard. And then that is another windshield from a. I want to say that's an R1 windshield that I painted a long time ago. But then yeah. You have Iron Man over here. Yeah. And this is some sort of dead bunny. Yeah, actually, my son James did that one. I've kept it is forever. It a skull bunny? A bunny yep, skull? it's a little. Yeah, skull bunny. But there we go. I'm going to put this back up on the monitor, so I'll stop making everybody seasick. Just wanted to share that a little bit. Here we go. And here we go. We've got the elf on the shelf that is straight out of Star Wars. I forget. Doesn't that turn? Yeah, it comes down. It goes like this. But this doesn't turn? No. Oh, I thought the laser came on. Yeah, it does. It just turns right. <laughs> 
a little red light in here. Oh, they can see it now. Yeah, they can see it. And then on the other side, it's got a voice module. Voice module. Yeah. yeah. And I, we still have 20 people hanging out I with us, man. I appreciate that so much. They just want to see what we're going to do next. Says, James, did you ever airbrush hockey gold helmets? Yes, I did. I used to spray just a bit. <laughs> if somebody would pay me to paint something, I painted everything from, okay, oh, motorcycle stuff to paintings to actually painted um, a, you know, the trays that the um, the girls used to come out with uh, roller Serving skates. Tray? Yeah, they put it on the side of your car. I had a guy show up. Like for Sonic? Yeah. Had me paint one of those. If you paid me, I would I would paint pretty much anything. Hey, it was a business. Uh -huh. That stuff smells so good. Good night, good. guys. Good night, Clint. Good night, Clint. Uh, thank you. Like them that look good. Great work. Wow, so vivid. The black background with the white is super dope. That's the oh, yeah, that one right there. One the yeah, there's one on the wall this way that's really cool, too, that you had a hard time seeing. It's you guys a, in Minnesota. He was for a minute, weren't you? Yeah, I lived in. We're in Oklahoma. Yeah, actually, I was born in Minnesota. I was born in Oklahoma, Grand Rapids. And listening. OMW and hello. That's funny. Yeah. And then uh, after I closed my motorcycle shop in California, I moved back to Minnesota. I lived in um, Duluth. I hated Duluth. Anybody that lives in Duluth, man, I'm sorry. I feel for you. And then from there, I went to South Dakota and lived in South Dakota for a while. And then went back to Minnesota to Blue Ridge. Then the army and you. Yeah, I was Been around for a little bit. And yeah, six years all over the place, just bounced. like you. My family has always bounced all over. Uh, hate Duluth. Love the lake. <laughs> yeah, the, Duluth just has kind of a... I hate to say it. James, hope you live to be 100 more. I don't know if I want to live. To, I want to live as long as I can, as long as I am not a hindrance on somebody else. Yeah, that has always been a conversation piece of, okay, if I'm 100, but I'm in a wheelchair and someone's got to bathe me, then that's not living. Yeah, well, I, I could deal with the wheelchair deal. I just don't want to be Fruit Loops upstairs. Or I don't want to not physically be able to feed myself. If I'm in a wheelchair, I can roll my fat ass around. No, I need to be, like, fully capable. Yeah, I'd love and, to be fully capable. Just me. Yeah. And that might be the... You know, when you go to combat and you're like, I'm coming back whole or I'm not coming back type thing. All right, Tef, thanks so much for being here. We really appreciate it. So, uh, have you been to Duluth? Diplomachete? Is that how you say that? Diplomachete? Diplomachete. Have you guys tried Mac Velvet Teddy Tobacco Vaniclum? I have never heard of a Mac Velvet Teddy. Me neither. James, will you be in motorized power bikes? Oh, I will be. Saying, when, I actually, when you have a wheelchair, is what they're trying to say. You guys, you, you know what's funny? Is we're going to have super up and we can racing. My motorized bike that I built that's out here. Yeah. So, yeah, I've done those too. He actually just, has, though. The, I live the in big bicycles that are, have the motor still. Yeah. Is what he has uh, here in the house. Got to go to the North Shore often. Yeah. My dad used to deliver. Paper up in there in the North Shore. Paul. Sorry, but I keep leaning over because this screen is kind, kind of, of blocking it for him. So let me, instead of doing that, I'll just scoot it over a little. Carlos. And that's my buddy from Puerto Rico. Carlos? I, yep. Teddy Velvet is something like TV, more honey than vanilla, tobacco vanilla, which is not your favorite. But more honey than the vanilla. Tobacco. I love honey, yeah, but I still love vanilla. Hey, Carlos, you need to send me a PM with a photo of that because that's interesting to me as well. Yeah, that you would know, be something that, that both of us would really like. I think when we put our nose on, we might. Because, and it's not that I. Hey, Rob, well, I thank you, cold, man, for being here. You have a wonderful night, too. We're just sitting here bullshit at this point in time. Yeah. When I had the cold, there's a note in your decant of tobacco vanilla that pushes me away. Yeah, it's the When tobacco. I had the cold. Yeah, you didn't notice it as much. I wasn't pushed away by it. 
So saying that, you're thinking it's the tobacco, but smelling all the other tobaccos that we had, that's the only one that does that to me. Well, it's just so like I would like to smell this yeah. if it's got more honey, because now when you're talking honey, you are leaning more 1821. Yeah, that's so. Right. Is it because you're saying honey? Is it closer to 1821? And have you smelled 1821? I guess to compare it. Yeah, would be my question. It says Carlos says okay, check. El, <clears throat> how do you see Elkin? That's I, honey and tobacco vanilla fruit. Yeah, I can't. I can't read that. A L K E M I A. Alchemy. Alchemy. Something like that. Yeah, me and my uneducated ass. <laughs> How we smelling in the house? Hey, what up, brother? I'm glad you got off. We have a <laughs> <laughs> Wait for these next videos. Should I just break it out? No, I just or? let him find it out. Yeah, because that's some funny shit. Oh my god. Yeah. Hashtag off. Is that's that right. Well, everybody knows what that is. Hashtag off. Hashtag OFF. That's hashtag outlaw fragrance, fragrance family. family, man. Yeah. But he <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch the videos. He's supposed to be my friend. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I am also all their friends. Yes. So wait until I was the butt of a joke. I it was funny too. Yeah, it really friend. was. It was it was oh, funny. And y'all are gonna like it. Yeah. So. Let's see what else is going to have you tried. You know, no, okay, that's something we were just talking about. Yeah, the honey tobacco. Yeah, I'm really curious about that. Because, I want to know how close that. Yeah, is me and him are huge fans of that genre. Everything that falls into like, well, the video, the the top four that we picked because those are basically a very specific tobacco genre. It's honey a honey tobacco. tobacco. It's sweet. You know, right. and, and Naxos got put in, but it's a dry. Yeah, but it's supposed to be the most upscale. Yeah, it's close to it being that. It's just it, it's missing the sweetness. What do we have here? There is this Herod. is one of the ones that people were saying we should have had in there. But it, it's not. Well, you smelled it the other night. Remember, you're like, oh, it is different. It smells good, but it is not, not like 1821. Genre. You know, and I think when we titled that for top tobacco. I guess I should have put a disclaimer for top honey, honey tobacco because, man, everybody and their dog was like, well, what about this? What about that? And I was thinking to myself, well, that's not a honey tobacco. <laughs> Howie. Carlos. Still, he, Howie still trips me out because he had yeah. two winning tickets. Yes. Let's see. Yeah. You make an awesome one-two punch. Great chemistry between two. Uh, thanks, man. I appreciate that, Carlos. Until Without him, see, he'd be nothing. So the see the all. <laughs> yeah, so they see the off part. Yeah, you can see what kind of I'll friend I'm hanging out with. Links on your Facebook. Group. Yeah, we'd okay. really appreciate that because that's that fragrance sounds super yeah, interesting. If we know what we're looking for, then is that expensive? Well, Carlos, what's that usually run for, man? I'm assuming that you have a bottle already. I'm cringing now. Is it I'm, a cheapy or is it a? I'm Maxos? assuming it not. Carlos is kind of like us. He's he likes to smell good for for less. Yeah. Cool. But I might be able to find it. See, here's yeah. You look right now. Here's how I'm gonna cheat. See that Amazon? No, you can't. It just man, it just blew it out. Oh, it says no internet. Why does it say no internet? Yeah, because my internet is working. What it used to be like LTE. sixty bucks, is what he's saying. Yeah, but find me the name again. Where is it? Highlight it. Um, da -dum, da -dum, Teddy Velvet. Was that the Teddy Velvet or the one with the KL? <clears throat> Are you talking about the chemistry no, thing? No, no, no. Yeah. I think it was up here, the KL. Remember we were trying to say, what does that say? And I had the L in it. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Anyways, go back to what he's saying now. Yeah, he's it saying up. that it's, yeah, Mac Velvet Teddy. Okay. Said it used to be around sixty bucks. Georgia Gin. Hey, what's happening, brother? Mac How long did it take you? Teddy to lipstick do... perfume. Let's do perfume. I have been wearing a beard for years. For the longest, I wore a goatee, and then I would say within the last. Does it just say Mac across the bottle? It says look up perfume. Yeah, that's what I did. I would say 
1.7 goes anywhere from 47 to 50 to 62 for a 1.7. Yeah. So that's not super expensive. That's something. But that's it. Uh, wait a second. That's <coughs> Excuse me. Scent Velvet Teddy. So Mac Ve Mac Velvet Teddy Shade Scents. Is that the correct one? Now Carlos says Alchemy is about forty dollars, and it is an indie frag oil base, and they also make beard oils. Ah, oh, and to finish your the answer to your question, Georgia gents, I have been wearing a, a long beard for years now, so it's hard to say how long it would take to grow. I know that the last time I got out of the hospital, I shaved my beard off. And within six months, I had a full beard again. I was going to try and show them, but. It says, uh, get it on eBay if you dare. If you dare. I like Prime for Amazon because then I'm covered. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I've ever bought a fragrance off of eBay. Yeah, it's just going to blow it out. Oh, there, there you go. Is that Dang, what you're talking that about? Just focused right on it too. Yeah. That says 54. Is that the one? Yeah, it's all backwards. <laughs> yeah, but it they can yeah, see where they it can says see it, Mac yeah. and they can see the bottle. But it says Mac Shade Sense Perfume Velvet Teddy. Let's hold on. He said he posted a video, I mean a picture on <clears throat> our page. Is that the outlaw fragrance page that you posted it on? Post a picture on group. Carlos. And then Lord. Mint tax said that is it. It's okay, okay. Let me put it in my add to my list. Add to list. And what I do is I add them to the list and yeah, then right. I'll get notifications. Yeah, That's it's it. the same bottle. Yep. I get notifications when the price goes up or down. So if it yeah. drops below 40, because right now it's 54 and they were saying 40. So once it hits below 40, I'll pull the trigger. And all you guys that participate in our page, man, I want to say thank you. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of stuff that you guys don't have to do, and it means a lot to us when you guys show up, participate, you know, leave a comment, you know, post on our, our group page. All that stuff means a lot to us. Genre uh, Ancient Island. Yes. That is their version of Creed's Virgin Island Waters. Justin um, White yeah, I'm surprised. Justin, why aren't you on Better Than TV? Better Than Tobacco Penny? Why aren't you on this live feed, buddy? Why, why don't you tell him, ask him there yeah. to comment? No, because he just commented that. Go back and comment on that and say, why aren't you on our live feed right yeah. now? Yeah, why? Oh, you know why? Because we probably never shared the live feed to the group. We just went live and just started doing it. We gotta start learning to get better. Actually, I did. Did you already share it in the group that we're live? No, but I put out a notice saying at 7:30 tonight we would be live on YouTube. Right, but a lot of the bigger, bigger channels, they once they go live, then they share to their own oh, group, yeah. showing that they're live, so yeah. people will know. I can. I'm a one man band. I can only do so much. Oh, uh, hang on a second. I'm a two man band. Yeah, you could actually go live on. I'm gonna go to YouTube. And no, yeah. Your Facebook. Then, you want to do it on Facebook? No, I'm gonna go to YouTube. Go to the video. Hit share to Facebook because then, ah, then, then we yeah. get the thumbnail too. Gotcha. Because I've been just taking the link, and a lot of times I found it doesn't even give us a thumbnail when I'm yeah. sharing it that way. So thanks, Mark. That means a lot to us, man. I really appreciate that. And dude, you know, I I keep seeing, you know, thank you for showing up, dude. I really, we really mean that. Because it's it means a lot to me personally. I had to come back and say congrats, guys. Yeah. Was, uh, when established guys like yourself come and support a smaller channel. So thank you. You know, you, Chad, all you guys, when you guys come and support our channel, it means a lot. Steve from Red Adolescence, all of you guys have made a big impact on me personally throughout the years. Because I have personally been watching you, Mark for probably six or seven years, easily. Huh. Oh, yeah, it is. It's doing... There we go. Yeah, there's, there's, there's not much of a lag either. In a group, so I'm sharing in a group, the See? Outlaw, Frags, Family, we are 
live. And I will say, Some you know, joy. Mark, that 1,000K had been a grueling, oh. absolutely trying goal to get to because I ran the channel for a year. It took over a year to reach that 1,000. I will say that within this month, since we hit the 1,000, we're at 150. The last 150 have came really fast. Yeah, it's supposed for to us. perpetuate yeah. even faster the bigger you get. Someday we will reach the stratosphere as Mr. Rosa Way and Steve and the rest of the guys that are really big. Some channels of, hey, it's nice to see you show up, Justin. <laughs> we wonder where you were at. Calling them out. Yeah. Like, hey, everyone in this chat, we were talking to you on Facebook. Yeah. And so they knew you were supposed to be coming. Yeah. So, you know, it, I will say to anybody like, Georgia Gentsman, you this is a grind. And I think even Mark from Raps 08 will say the only way to be successful at this is that you have to never give up and don't expect big, huge gains. There's a few channels that just blow up. There's a difference between a sprint and doing an airborne shuffle for 10 yeah, miles. You absolutely. Know? And this is an airborne keep shuffle. Keep on moving and you're going to do good. Yeah, because there are some like um, Curly Sins, her channel blew up. Absolutely. Um, Debbie Rowling, what, 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 oh man, going to do, uh, all right. This is still playing. Up. Yeah. Hang on, let me turn that off. Sorry, I got distracted by a personal message okay. just popped through. Get right. out, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't pull out, Carlos. Oh, you oh, guys are getting back to that. What the heck are y'all do doing? Do I need to get you guys a room? All right. It went quick towards the tail end of 1,000. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. It, it kind of jumped up there and just took off. Yeah. That's been your problem since day one. <laughs> <laughs> these, these guys are going there, Yeah, they're having fun right there. Hey, guys. Hey, unique guys. What's happening? That's you know, another name that I'm not familiar with. We've got um, – how many videos have we got right now in the I'm cache? Not. I think we got all this week and maybe next week shot. No, but because we there's the series. Week, right? uh -uh. The series that we've been working on, we can't. I don't think it would be a good idea just to drop them all at one time, do one per week. We've got some stuff to do. <laughs> In a short time. Yeah. I'm taking off again um, for Christmas and New Year's. And hopefully I'm going to spend both of them in Arizona. But like in yeah. the beginning of this broadcast, we explained I may end up in Detroit for one of those weeks. Depends upon a uh, family member. Hey, Clifton. Hello, brother. Thank you for joining us. Clifton. In the house. So unique guy. I, I am sorry, but I, guys, I haven't yeah. seen that handle before. I don't think I've ever noticed it. Anything. I think CK at the moment is Amanda. Oh, you think? Look at the comment right there. Yeah. You guys don't have tits. No, we so do not. It may be Amanda making these comments. Yeah, now. maybe. Is it Amanda or is it Colin that's commenting right now under CK? And then Unique is what's up coming? What's up coming frag hits? All kinds of stuff. Guys. Up coming frag hits. Yeah. Because I will say that's what I was saying. I haven't noticed that name in our comments on our video. Right so before. Yeah. So thanks for showing up here. Yeah, I buddy. appreciate it. Yep. See, knew it. So oh, it is Amanda. Yeah. I think. Is it? No, it's Collins. No, Collins. And no, we don't have. They, they share them, so yeah. You never know who it is. Yep. <clears throat> so does anybody have any questions? You know, I'm sure he wants to tell you some deep dark circuits secrets. I did. Yeah, sure. Christmas, cocoa, and man. Because <laughs> so this for this holiday season, or if you just want what I thought crypto man was supposed to smell like. Yeah. Because he sprayed my hand patty. underneath the when you couldn't see. That stuff smells so good. On. You mentioned curly scents and Demi blowing up. I was saying they don't have. Oh yes. We do not have the breastuses to entice yet. Yeah, put them away. Wait a second. Hey. We don't want to get banned. If, if it works, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> let's, uh, let's get this thing going. <laughs> you know, but I will say this about Curly Sin's channel. Her content is extremely well made. The way that she presents is outstanding. Yeah, man. That girl, and we met the gentleman that she works with. I want to say it's her boyfriend, but I'm not sure. 
or maybe just partner. Partner. They do an amazing job. They have good chemistry together, so I think I can see where you're saying yeah. boyfriend. Yeah, I I'm not really be. sure I could be speaking out of term, but they do a great, great job. Demi Moore is, yeah, you're going to have to show your boobs. I did. <laughs> Well, no, she don't show her boobs. She no, only her cleavage. Yeah. That was my. I don't have <laughs> her. Her <laughs> thumbnails are always very provocative. But I will say, I, <laughs> that's, that's yeah, as close as I can get them. I will say, I've watched her content, and her content is way better than I thought it would be. What you know is what one fragrance note that doesn't work for you? Whatever note is in Tobacco Bunny has a repelling. Yeah, there's. For you. One of the reviews that's upcoming this week, there was a note in that one. Didn't do for me. Um, for me, it's Silver Mountain Water. There's a note in that that smells like teenage sweaty body odor. Yeah. I do not like that. But I'm no. not exactly sure what the note is that makes me. Yeah, I don't know if that. I have a, a, a real repulsive identified note. Yeah, me neither. If that makes sense. Because everything changes so much when it's used in a composition. You know, that's just like he got to smell ISOE Super last week and then raw um, um, and broxin, which everybody associates with Sauvage and Blue de Chanel and all the blues. But that doesn't smell like any of those, does it? No, not at all. So it depends on how they're mixed. Yes, yeah, how when they come off. So you don't like rose. That is true. Yeah. Well, no. I can't say that either because that review is coming out too. Yeah, we he just found a rose that he likes. No, it's, it's actually out. Um, it's meant. It's uh, Miguel Mentos's. Is that one already published? Yeah, it is. I can't keep up with whichever ones were published. It is There's a, a miracle of rose, roses, and it was mixing with the honey off of the your body, the eighteen twenty one um, pure Havan. Yeah, one that we did. And but I, then somebody in the comments, yeah, that was is, it is out. Yeah, it and they said honey is in that. Yeah, note. it's in the base, but it when I smell it by itself, you can't smell it. So when it's, I was smelling it, you were smelling your arm. <coughs> may or may not. Because I went but back, right now, I don't have anything yeah, on except this. This, yeah. But you're right, mm -hmm. Colin. Yeah, I went. I had to double check because I couldn't but smell it. On the norm, the right yeah, eye. Yeah. Most of them. It's well, possible. no, because now I think about it. Hey, Kevin, had, welcome. A oud rose combo that you liked as well. So there has been two roses lately that you. Yeah, saw. but on a norm. Yeah. If we're talking norm and a and a note profile, I don't like. They're yeah. right. It's rose is because it's an infant grandma. Associated. But then oud was the same way too, and I'm no longer afraid of oud. Yeah. And I'm actually wanting to find a skanky oud just so I can know what the skanky oud smells like. Yeah. I'm just like secretion magnifique. I want this nasty smelling crap just so I can know for myself that it's bad because you can't just keep taking everyone's word and we're parroting everyone else. So, so I really want to do it myself. So as unique guy says the honey note in Naxos mm -hmm. puts him off and see, and I really don't pick up. Well, I guess when I'm thinking of a honey and tobacco, Rose, like now 18.21 no. is like Man, Winnie the Prue honey. Right, right. That was the one that, that I smelled but, and it was a light rose. Yeah. And, and the honey just mixed. Same as back to black. Well, um, you're going to have to be a little bit more clear on that one, Unique Guy, because I'm, I'm lost in that one. Because we picked up all three. We actually Is there did. honey in back to black? I don't think so. I'm not familiar with back to black and how that one smells. It's one of the three bottles that we're giving away. No. Yeah. Back to black is by Killian, right? And black to black, black is black. Is oh, yeah, that's right. Black is black, yeah. That's a black to black is an Achilles, is, yeah. And I, that's an uber expensive yeah. one. I don't, I've never smelled it. Says love Mark honey says, and that's hey, so bam. Yeah. And there, now you can ask what bottle he's yeah. giving away for those that are still in here because I forgot. Love oh, I'm not sure Naxos what Mark is giving away. He is, yeah, by Killian, which is not by Killian anymore. I don't know. It's not by Killian anymore. What now, is it now? I think it's just Killian. What? Not by Killian. By Killian's the actual name, like by Cody. Yeah. And I think they took the buy off uh, of it, and now it's Killian. Just find out. 
That was another one. I think of those, it, I think that was it, another one of those knowledge drops within the last couple of days that I had gotten. Just like um, we we're talking about Jeremy Fragrance and him saying that Iris wasn't going to be in the next Dior. Yeah. Okay. No, no. Winner's choice from St. Gross. They. Is it K K E or K? Oh, never mind. It's spelled right there. Winner's choice. Well, where are you looking at? Mark. Mark is right. Oh there. yeah. Winner's choice first. Yeah. And who is trying to call me? C K. Killian Paris. Oh, that's what it's now. Killian Paris is what it is. Ah, uh, instead of right Killian. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Because it reminded me of John Mark Paris. And I was like, well, why are they putting Paris at the end now? Yeah. And it almost takes away from by Killian to be Killian Paris. And there's been quite a to bit me. of that because Zerzhoff actually took one of their sub lines and brought it back underneath the Zerzhoff brand. Matter of fact, uh, who was that? I think it was Carlos that mentioned that to us, wasn't it? Dance. Dan. Or Dan. Dan. Dan yeah. yeah. He may have said it to us. Hey, that Kevin. It was always underneath. It's so, so, sensual obsession did is in the house. The drawing? Yes, we did, Mark. Yep. Matter of fact, while I'm sitting here being lazy. Glad to hear you're feeling better there, Kevin. I'm going to upload it. Now, how do you upload it into... Okay, what you want to go do? Go to the community tab. Nope, you're going to go to here. Okay. Okay. We're going to... Sorry, we're not ignoring you. I'm sure... <clears throat> okay, and then you see video, live, and post. Okay. But before you do that, you need to go to where you uploaded it to our YouTube channel, right? No, not yet. Okay, you're going to need to upload it to the YouTube channel. Then you will go through and highlight the link. When you go to post... You'll post the link right there, and then it'll add it to the community, community tab. tab. Yeah. Well, why would we need to add it if I'm adding the video? Because otherwise, it won't go to your phone. You know what I'm saying? It has to be on a URL somewhere. This is. I'm gonna mark it as 1,000. There we go. And sub winners. Yep. And leave it as unlisted, and then just copy and paste the link over to the community. Oh, leave tab. it as unlisted. Yeah. Oh, I got you. So public. Can I win if I didn't know or didn't? <laughs> yeah, Clifton, you kind of missed that one, dude. You should have left a comment on our 1,000 sub um, Here are video. Cars. Carlos, this is a party now. Yes, it is. There's a bunch of people in the house. You know, all you guys are good people, and it really, I keep saying it, I'm really thankful for all of you guys. So, Mark, we did a a uh, the drawing. I am going to send you the information for the guy that you will be providing a bottle for, Mark. And as soon as it uploads, I'll do like he said, and I'll copy it over to the community. Yeah, when they hit 2, 2K, I'm sure there will be another giveaway. How are you? I'm good. Finally feeling normal. Yeah, I was watching. Kevin was up and down for a minute there. Yeah, he was held back well. and forth. So we he tried everything from the pillows to CBD to all kind um, of stuff. Yeah. Did you win? Yeah, you won. You won a chance to watch us for a whole nother year. Yep. You That's sure did. That's what you won. I appreciate it. Yep. Let's see what else are they saying. Uh, so well, uh, all good. And Clifton, is there? Yes. And that's where he said, can I win if I didn't enter? Yeah, no, sure. I was Clifton that was up there. He said, can I win if I didn't enter? Or sure. I didn't know. See, that's sure. where, you know, if you miss a video, you when never you know what you guys are going to miss. I'm sure there will be another giveaway. Y'all. Yeah. You guys always make awesome. me laugh. Thank you, James Russ. We We're tried. All people. Yes, Howie is right. Everyone. It, that's the one thing about the community. For the most part, everyone's here and is legit. Yeah. Sometimes you have some bad apples or you just have negativity. But most of the people that you see in here yeah, are these the are same all... people on these Facebook groups. And yeah. all of us just seem to, to have positive attitudes and positive outlooks. And that's what keeps bringing us back every single time. Absolutely. Yeah, because I think today is the first day I saw kind of a negative or a shitty comment on one of our videos. 
where a guy was saying, what is that machine noise in the background? It is annoying as fuck. And what it was, I don't know. I actually went back and listened to it. I couldn't hear anything. And it was at first I was like, well, I wonder if he's talking about our background music. So I went and checked to make sure, but it was one of the videos I didn't even add background music. So he was just looking for something to fuss about, yeah. you know, cause I couldn't, I couldn't hear anything in that or he needs to update we his all equipment. Click. Yeah. We all click together. Yes, we do. And it doesn't matter if James and I are live or, you know, anyone here is live. We all just kind of go and bounce. Like, I'm on George Gent stuff. I'm yeah. on Mr. Cheap Sun Sun, Rob stuff. I'm, like, all over it, motivated living, um, civilized redneck. It don't matter who's posting. You know, we just kind of gravitate and we go over there. Yeah, I don't get a chance to do it as much because if I'm sitting in front of this computer, I'm Edit. I'm editing video, and I do that. And I did hours and hours and hours a day since joining forces with you. I am way back from what I used to be. Yeah, I used to be one of the most active guy in like everything, and I was commenting on everything, and I keep up with everything, and I would post my send of the day on uh, Ashton's yeah yeah his, his Facebook page. page, and I give a brief description, and then I come down and I would update. Okay, we're at lunchtime, and yes, I have to reapply. Then I come back. Okay, it's been 12 hours. I'm finally getting to go home. This is what I got out of it. And I don't get to do a lot of that stuff anymore when you're doing the tags and the thumbnails, descriptions, and you're looking up and you're comparing, you know, what you're supposed to put in there. And, yeah. You know, it, it's a huge time stuff. commitment and it's a lot of energy to do it all. But and it's I, still fun. I haven't yes. lost the fun yet. When I got sick, he saw me. I was real down and I wasn't feeling good at all. Um, so at that point, it wasn't fun when, you, when you're not feeling good. There is fun. a place on the internet where you can order raw materials. And you know what? Give me a second. They should now. totally review Alchemy. That's another one. Let me look that one up on Amazon. Uh, That's still trying to upload. Okay, how do you spell A L. Okay. Still had milk. Because I had A ordered um, E M I A. I had ordered the the raw materials that Russell got to smell the other day off I'm the internet. Say fragrance. Sorry, it's just got a little circle going. Okay, so each other. Osmanthus perfumery ingredients, and they sell kits. They sell absolutely everything, and it's spelled O S M A N T H O S dot com, and you can order raw materials from them. Okay, there is no alchemy fragrance on Amazon. No, we haven't gotten anything. Let me but let me let me restate that we have not been contacted by EJ about um, Paisley Skies or I think he's yes, we have. Oh, so you have? Yeah, he, he messaged me. <laughs> um, he said he had sent out a package so we could review that one. Oh, okay. but nothing showed up yet. Yeah. Let's see what else, Clifton. Yes, yeah, so that's another one of the weird things is because when we get together, usually we, we sit down and cram out a video, three or four or six or ten. We talk a little bit, and then and he's trying to work stuff on his end. I get contacted on my ends. Um, Kevin's a good a good thing. Kevin talks to both, both of, of us, us, yes, but we don't never have like three way chats. Yeah. So sometimes he's talking to me, and I know something's coming in, or sometimes he talks to James, and James knows something's coming in. Oh, and so, speaking of Kevin, thank you. The box with the box came. Yes, I really appreciate it. We're gonna do a review on your version of BK five forty because I find Devil of Venice and the Devil of Venice. Yeah, because that decant that you ran through was that Devil of Venice or was that just a regular of Venice? No, the one that. I went through was was that Venice, Venice Cologne. Cologne. Yeah. And now we got in uh, Double of Venice, yeah. which is now correct me if I'm wrong here, Kevin, but I believe Double of Ventus is Creed Aventus and Aventus Cologne mashed together, is what I'm thinking, smelling it. I think it's the two put together. 
Let's see, it would be great to hear interviews. You know, I had reached out to EJ to do a review, an interview with him, and he had agreed to it, and then he just kind of exactly he said exactly. See, so that's what I was getting out of when I was yeah. smelling it. It was like it's almost like he mashed those two, two together. together. Uh, and it's really good. If you guys have not smelled that one yet, I highly recommend that. It's I really like the Aventus Cologne, and I think we've discussed it several times. I never went for the real Aventus. I've never, but I've got several clones of it. Yeah, um, and I have the real and but a, double a ton Aventus of clones. is is banging. And to answer your question, um, is it more closer to the 540 or the X trait? I will say it is closer to my EDP. Yeah, the EDP. Or yeah, X-ray. it's got a different twist because it is close, but not. It's probably seventy-five percent close, I would say, because well, you know what? That's all I'm going to say. You guys got to tune in to the yeah, review the where I really kind of break that down. I want to go yeah. back. Somebody had made a mention about interviewing I EJ. Out of it, but haven't tried the EDP. Yeah. But asked James. Um, I had reached out and asked EJ if he would be willing to do an interview with us on our channel. Matter of fact, I have reached out and asked Kevin, who is right here with us, the last on comment right multiple there. times to do an interview with us for our channel. And he keeps shining me on. It's a good good thing we like him because, you know, if, if I was... I'm going to give him a pass right now. Only yeah. Because he has been up and down. So, yeah. So. You'll get a pass for that one. But, I mean, you're still going to have to shit or get off the pot. And Until I would prefer that year, you do... January. Yeah, you do a, a, a re, an interview with I us know, on the channel. I have to do that. <laughs> yeah. I know that... You, and you can't say... Because it used to be, well, I'm uncomfortable on camera. But I saw him do an interview with the pizza guy. Or a guy that does reviews of pizza there in Florida. Yeah, um, he did a pizza review. Um, we well, need to do a pizza review. We should come on live and have, have like three different pizzas. Of the pizza. Yeah, great. I'm getting oh, fatter God. as I talk about it. But I definitely want to do an interview oh, because yeah, Kevin has an interesting cool. story so that cool. really, I think, goes along with his line. And he, he's like the rest of us. He's a guy that's trying to get his hustle on to make a living legitimately, which I think all of us can appreciate. Are you asking, CK, are you asking if James likes a specific one himself, like the original? Oh, he's talking about the, yes. I'm I a, think he's still talking about BR. 540. Yeah, I like the EDP. The Extratic is okay. I can't see that you it's worth the extra money. Yeah, that was a pizza review. Yeah, you were fine, dude. <laughs> You you didn't you didn't turn into a block of stone and shatter in front of the camera. So. Yeah, he owes you the interview for your birthday. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna write that one down. Let's see what else is saying. Victorious Muckus is super nice. I have to check that one out too. He yeah. Said, just... Thanks, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Michael. St- you know, he talked right up for you. Well, I think, you know, when it comes right down to it, Kevin, it'll do two things. It helps put a face to your brand, and it gives a backstory so people can relate to it. And every other reviewer will then watch on, too. Yeah. Says you're welcome, Kevin. Yeah, absolutely. Keep Arabian talking. Arabian Oud. Um, what was that gold bedazzled bottle? Oh, that's Alasham Oud. He Bye. likes it, just so you know. Yeah. And I liked it. The it's smell really, of that really one. Yeah, it's a, a cinnamon oud bomb. It's really, really good. No, I was asking before which one the Central Obsession Inspiration was aiming for. Oh. Thoughts on Arabian oud. Oh, that is actually, if he's talking about. I want to try Glorious and Ardeen. And then he said, you are right. Mm. Asking for the Central Obsession interpretations. Man, this thing smells. Yeah, that stuff is really, really good. Really good. Pacific Rim Adventures, Carlos, have you heard about that one trying Glorious and Arden? So great. Yeah. The bottle is he holding to his chin is cocoa and mint from Bath and Body Works. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and that's he's Ronnie. Just, yeah. <laughs> Ronnie's out there in the front room trying to. He's on in the kind of Christmas cocoa and mint, right? Yeah, and it is a straight up peppermint patty. Essential obsessions. He's talking about the back. Yeah, my favorite is the EDP. 
Yeah, what what CK was asking is um, what version did Kevin send you? He only has one version, and that is his brand new one that he just came out with. Am I correct? But Kevin? which one is it? To me, it smells way more like the EDP than it does the extract. So EDP yeah. is what we're looking at. It's not, well. I think that was the whole conversation, conversation. that these guys were having. He yeah, was trying Kevin to says figure yes. out. Um, and I can say that with was. with extreme confidence because, I mean, you guys have seen the bottle that I have on my shelf. I wear it. I'd like to wear it all the I've, time, but I can't afford to. Rim, I've never even heard of that one. Have you have you experienced? Where are you looking there, brother? Right here. But Delkis the Victorious. Yeah. Um, I have never even heard of it either. Is that is Delkis Victorious? No, is this going oh, back up to the Oud conversation? Is that no, that's, one of the Oud ones? I asked earlier if you had tried it, but that is actually correct me if I'm wrong, Pacific Adventures, but that is the Armoth one that they just came out with that has the horse head on it, correct? It's in a red bottle. I thought that was Bocephus. Is that Bocephus? So it was the red and black one? Yeah, it's named after Alexander the Great's horse. Bocephus. But I'm not sure that's... Hopefully he'll respond and he'll tell us. Thanks, Russ. Yes, that's what I was trying to ask. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I would, That's why I was just trying to clarify because yeah. it, it kept looking like he was just trying but to figure no, out which one. I haven't smelt that. I know that I've watched uh, Joy of Means' review of it. He said it is a really good clone of Aventus, but no, I haven't had a chance to get a hold of it. Did he say yes, that's the one he was talking about? Yeah, I think so. He said they carried at Beverly Hills for a few years. Then nope, that's not the one I'm thinking of. That's not going to be an arm yeah, off. Yeah, that's there. not an arm off there. That's probably going to Google it over on this one. Let me see. Just you. copy and paste yeah, this. What I'm going to do Lucif is victorious. Okay. okay, we're going to look this one up real quick. Yeah, so that way we kind of know what you're talking Steven's about. Steven's in the house. Congratulations. us. Thank you, Steven, from Red Lessons. Where do you see Steve's in here? Oh, right holy there. smokes. Hey, what's up, brother? I can't wait for the samples to finally be released so we can so we can try them. Oh, okay. I, I recognize the bottles. No, I have not smelled any I of these. I now know which bottle that is because it's the green bottle. Yeah, and look at the price. $885 for that <laughs> at Neiman Marcus. Okay. Who wears that? I want to know where they work. Matter of fact, I want to know where you park your car so that I can come and meet you at night. Who? Holy cow. And how many ounces is that? Um, I don't think it's a hundred mil bottle. Is that gonna be no, it's not a bucket. A, uh, eight fluid ounce. No, it's a hundred mil. So that is eight dollars and eighty-five cents a mil. So one spray is, is ten bucks. bucks. Yep. No, I've never tried that yeah. one. Yeah. Pacific. Uh, adventures. Uh, yeah, there's so much stuff out there. We get a lot of requests I've yeah. noticed lately. Hey, can you do a review on this or can you do... I think we, a decant of that would be it's like 50 eight. bucks. Yeah, or more. <laughs> you get... And that would be a two mil for 50 bucks. Yeah, I figure a five mil would be damn near 50 bucks. But we get a yeah. lot of requests lately, you know, to, to do reviews. We would like to facilitate everybody's requests. I have a very limited budget. Obi-Wan... He has a very limited budget, so we try to do whatever we can within our financial grasp, really. Yeah, that's not even in the financial wheel. That's house. Yeah, that's in stratosphere. I, I'm, I'm not even in the right tax bracket. I, I can't afford to pay the taxes if you went and bought that. Okay, if you reach out to them and you tell them to send us two bottles, we will review. Absolutely. How do you even say this? Bodicea the Victorious. Yeah. I sure would, because it's green. So the well, first, the bottle's green. First thing I'm thinking is it's going to be... Let's see. Is it still the notes? Say it says... Lemon yeah, pine needles, yesterday. violet leaves, cashmere green. musk, cedarwood, patchouli, sandalwood, yeah, angerwood. Yeah, you'd like this. Is it going to be a green? Yeah. But with amber, musk, and vanilla, vanilla, the only thing they could add to that that I would like would be honey. Yeah. Because it's got raspberry, too, I saw as a note. That would be an interesting... To actually try that one and it's green i like the pine needles yeah that'd be interesting i so, bet you it smells good do you own that one 
since we had to educate I'll get ourselves you some here. Samples from Beverly Hills Perfumery. Well, That's then, what I'm talking thank about. Thank you very much. We're big on doing samples. Yeah, it's the only thing and we, we can. We sure will review off a sample. That's yeah. for sure. Clifton it, says he has a bottle. Really? How can you, Clifton? What do you do for a living? Are you just independently wealthy, or do you what, elegant, enchanting, and mystical? Okay, I can for eight hundred and some odd dollars. Green sapphire. The notes sound very interesting to me. Yeah, raspberries, the saffron, and the liquor accord. What kind of liquor accord do y'all get from it? Because we finally got finally. a review that's coming out, or is that one already up? Okay, it's coming out where we actually got a liquor scent. Yeah, because a lot of times I I've heard real liquor. Many, many reviewers say that this smells boozy and this smells like vodka. And I personally, myself, have never I'm smelled England, a fragrance that made also. me say, okay, this smells like liquor. Right. Never. We smelled something this yesterday whiskey. that has a whiskey note that smells exactly like if you picked up a glass like of whiskey. Like DUI whiskey. Yep. Yeah. And just before you take that sip, you open your nose and take a sniff. Smells exactly like whiskey. That it, was incredible. Yeah. And it's the first time through everything that I've smelled I mean, two that time. smells like that. That thank what you. I'm talking about. Yeah. We really appreciate, appreciate that. Thank yeah. you very much. That's because it, it, it's really oh, and, Clifton and about a decant of it. Yeah. Because I I'm pretty sure Steven, he's in here. He can tell you it is really O D C A. It's the really Bodicea. expensive to keep trying to get new fragrances to keep reviewing. So when we get a sample or when people have sent samples, Bodicea. you know, it means a lot to us yeah. and it helps us produce Bodicea. content. Bodicea. Yeah. They, hey, I'm wondering. They phonetically gave it to us, making sense to it. Steven, are you still on here, Mr. Redolescence? I have a question for you because I'm pretty sure he could tell me where that name is oh, from. Oh, God. There we go. Spent way <laughs> too much money. <laughs> yeah. It's expensive. It really is. People don't realize that. Do you own this one? I'm still here. Yeah. So where is or where does the word? Wow, oh, geez, how are you gonna say that? You know what? I'm gonna put it in the yeah right there. Yeah. O D C uh, is the way they phonetically spelled it. Yeah, I'm gonna copy and paste it. Oh no, it's not gonna let me. If you try from this side, it might instead of the other way. Oh, there we go. It's gonna take everything though. Come on, there we go. There I'm go. gonna copy and paste an, a word into the comments, Steve, and tell me where this comes from because i'm pretty sure you're going to have the knowledge to say okay this word is from such and such language oh, or is whatever it French or is it yeah Spanish or, is it... or is it in a historical character you know odyssea odyssea you know, odyssea the victorious yeah because i'm assuming with so that when name, we're doing the review i'm going to get this right odyssea the victorious yeah here we go steve did a review on the imperial yeah that's because yeah. steve has got way more money than we do Imperial is very nice. I'm pretty sure I love the way the bottles look. They look it's amazing. The creative director's name was Michael. Oh, is that his Bodie last name or kind of a I'm make it sense? Nice job. Thank you. Appreciate it. Change your opinion on designers. No, it does not. I still love my designers every bit as much as the the so really expensive from stuff. His last name, he's saying maybe it's a, ah, okay. a mismatch from his name. Because that that sounds like an old, what would you say, an old language word? She is a Celtic warrior queen. Ah, okay. So maybe we should have copied that and Googled it. Yeah, and probably would have came up. Oh, you know what? Celtic I think I've heard of queen. this this individual. So she is this fought a in a war? Yeah. No, she actually, this scent is it a female scent? Oh. Or is this a unisex? Well, let's see what they say. I would say that this is male by looking at the note breakdown. Yeah. Amber, musk, and vanilla. And the... It does not say. Well, and that's one of the things about niches. Yeah, I they... do believe, matter of fact, Stephen is the one that covered it. He may have been the one. Um, or it could have been Robes 08. I don't remember. So if it was you, let me know. But they were saying it's so much harder for niche companies to get their name out there. They don't like to go male or female. So everything's yeah. unisex when it comes from a niche, only from marketing standpoint. Whereas and, Chanel, this is a guy's, this is a woman's, yeah. but they're a multi-billion dollar company. 
whereas niche, if, if they can go unisex, they appeal to more people. Yeah, well, for the most part, a great example that doesn't do that is Perfumes de Marley. And we both smelled a Perfumes de Marley female fragrance yesterday that both of us would have. We said we'd wear it. That's the only tease you're going to yeah. get. Do not say the name. Yeah, he says that's, that's totally, totally right. right. Yeah. And to me, I think that there's, <clears throat> I personally like the whole unisex kind of idea. She is the, Car Carlos is saying she is the only woman that fought against the, the Romans. Romans, yes. So, so monarch. Yeah. And a bunch more. Yep. Also known as. Yeah, she had, she's from Great Britain. She's British from the British Catholic, Isles. Yeah. Blood Blossom. Let's see. Description. It's just saying the same yeah. thing. These guys, they fought against the Romans. Yep. That's totally right. Yeah. The notes look interesting to me. Yeah. They uh, do to me, too. saying you get us two mil decant. So we I would like to put my nose on that. Yeah, and we will definitely. What's the learn. overall feel of this one? I guess you'd have to ask my, those. Yeah, my these question guys. to you guys is this because I think we started off with the eighteen twenty one and then the honey tobacco, and then we went right into this. So, is are you saying this is along that genre? No, not from that note breaking around. I don't think so. But yeah, because you got the saffron raspberry and the liquor. Yeah, but I still didn't get what kind of liquor. It, I went back up and was reading it, and no one said what kind of liquor or cord it was. Yeah, and I that's like another. A, are one. we looking at whiskey, bourbon? Yeah. Well, the, to me, like I said, boozy. we talked about yeah. The me and you have only smelled one fragrance, one. one. And I have got a lot of stuff in the other room that's supposed to have boozy notes to it. My wife, as soon as she says male or female, gets biased. We'll try a men's fragrance, even if it's feminine. Yeah. We talked about that as well. Um, Royal Princess Oud by Creed. I picked up for $50 at TJ Maxx. Um, I told we you We smelled it, and it smells more like a men's. It leans more masculine than feminine, so I think they did themselves a disservice uh, naming it Princess. Which one are you talking about that's $1,295 or my friend? I only have a sample. Love Valiant. Oh, is that the name of it? Love Valiant? Yeah. Love Valiant. $1,295. I know that, Steve, what's the bottle? I remember watching one of your videos where you show, you're walking oh, around. Oh, Victorious has 118 perfumes in their, in their, in their catalog. catalog. Oh, that yeah. you are going through and you are actually showing everything that's on the shelves and you have a bottle of fragrance that's in a gold bottle that you paid a grand oh, yeah. for. What was that's that? Funny. He paid a grand for a fragrance? Yeah. You still there with me, Steve? That would be a car payment. That would be my car <laughs> payment. I'd have to skip them up. I've sold a lot of men's fragrance. Even and Steve's like, hmm. Fragrance. Yeah, because I remember when the video, when I watched it, you're like, I bought this, and then afterwards you say you really don't care for the way that it smells, but you bought it. No, it wasn't Roja Roja. Dove. You have it on one of your top shelves, and it's not one that you can see when you're doing your videos. You actually showed it as you're walking around, and you're kind of doing... Okay, uh, we're talking about these 12 and $1,000 one. I want to do another plug. $5, and yeah. you can smell like a peppermint patty. Yeah, God, Kevin no from some my session. rent and car, car payment. payment. <laughs> yeah, that's my rent. That's over my rent. I don't have a car payment. Steven should send it to me. I'm willing to take it off of your hands. That's I. I don't think oh, that would be a Royal free English bottle. Leather by Creed. That might be. It was in a special bottle. I remember you telling me that the bottle that you have isn't Royal the normal English. retail bottle. You weren't telling me. You were telling your audience. I just happened to be one of the people watching. <laughs> That's but I was shocked when you told me how much it was. I was like, I can get you a five dollar one. Yeah, five dollar make you holler. We could trade. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> Look, this is the see. best thousand, not one dollar. <laughs> no, this is the best um, peppermint patty fragrance in the world, and you I could trade I for Royal English leather, straight up. We just do like a bam. 
Yeah. I like what <laughs> Steve's all, ha I've made some bad purchases throughout the years. You know, I think everybody kind of falls into that. I've got a couple of things in the other room where I bought it off of what I heard other people say. Yeah. Other and then when I got it, I was like, this is nothing like what I thought it was going to be. And I was like, oh, this is bad purchase. A bad purchase for me would be like um, Diesel plus Masculine. Guess, like you guess were, who dropped a yeah, that video, was Chad. Chad. Um, and he's cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. I'm I like, think you have my a, bottle is a fake, baby powder, baby powder, yeah, baby you powder. You got a fake, <laughs> fake bottle. But it's a $13 fragrance. Yeah. It's like, who would fake? You know, a fifteen dollar fragrance. It says I'll pay shipping for Russell <laughs> <laughs> for Steve's and swap. I appreciate that. Thanks for stepping up there, and making sense. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Steve Red Lessons is all about that trade. Yeah, You'd be like uh, no. <laughs> but one thing I will say about Steve, I had a chance. We both did to smell the fragrances that Steve has in his line when we yep. were at Cynix. Ex, Cynix, Cynix ex, yes. They are outstanding. If you have the financial ability to pick those up, they are absolutely worth the money. And if we would have had that bottle when we did the four bottle uh, shootout, yeah, that would have definitely that bottle would have been in, in that. that it would absolute, have been a five bottle shootout. It sure would. I'm telling you, it is that good. It is going to be you guys. It will be compared to 1821. It will be compared to Pure Havan, to Naxos. It will fall in that genre. Just so that four bottle will no longer be four bottle. It will be a five yeah, bottle shootout. We were talking, you know, a lot of people were saying, you know, why didn't you add this tobacco fragrance or that? We should have put a caveat underneath tobacco. the title. It should have said top four honey tobacco fragrances. And now it's going to be a top five, five when we get that bottle. It's it's fabulous. That's not a problem. Hey, Steve, what is the name of that again? Because I'm retarded. Well, it's not that you're retarded. Steve has named them. What What is that? Is it a, did you go to Spanish or it's Latin? Latin. Latin. So Latin. the names are in Latin. And if you're not used Veritas, to okay. saying Veritas, then it's just not in your vocabulary. If he would have came out and said, Stevens tobacco of an E. Yeah, that would have been easier. You've got it, and it's easy. But that one should be easy for me to remember because it's really close to this. Yeah. Because I have Veritas tattooed on me, and I think that one we both were yeah, like, "Yeah, that is amazing." We got to get that one. Yeah. Because so. at that point, he couldn't tell us what the name was. Remember? Right. And I remember I rewatched that video, and it, I forgot this name, and he goes, "Yeah." <laughs> That's the way he left. He's like, "Yeah." yeah. That is because we can't put the name Absolutely out. amazing. Like, I, nothing that, that we smelled incredible. out of his line. Everything was amazing. Yeah. You know, yeah. What was the freshie? Um, he wouldn't tell us the names. Remember, he couldn't at that time. What is the name of your freshie? Because you fell in love with that yeah, one it's like got a, instantly. Yeah, it's and then got I was a, smelling it. I was like, yeah, that, that would be a great summer scent. It's got a real um, Navitos. Navos. Yeah, it's got a um, very heavy the rolly note to it it's to me it is like 4711 or tom ford's that's what you're comparing Neroli to portofino on steroids it just is absolutely it wonderful it fixes that 30 minutes here and gone yeah 4711 is here gone 30 minutes whereas that one is going to eliminate that problem yeah for you. it smells amazing you have such a good memory james <laughs> don't tell anybody <laughs> I just can't speak English. That's my problem. Or when I want to use a certain adjective, my brain shuts off. Let's see. Can't Did wait for the this set to be out. Oh, yeah. The Those discovery set. set. Yeah. And what is... Did you... Have a NUS and Brazilian catalog brand name, Natura? Oh, he's got to be recently asking Steve. By, recently by Avon Company. They have a great line of accessible frags and gems named Essential Oods. No, we haven't. I haven't heard anything about it. Yeah. How you say the name and you put your own twist on it. I, and well, you know. My bank account will be crying. Yeah. 
I, I had looked at my bank account when I wanted to get all of the frags in Steve's line and it just laughed at me. I know. Like, <laughs> oh my God. If I bought a bottle of everything, it was like, yeah, it's if you buy his entire line, it's like over a thousand dollars, well yeah. over a grand. And and in one of our videos, we talked about I don't even have a credit card no more. Yeah, I mean, for years, and that's how you kind of fix your credit by getting rid of those credit cards. And my wife holds one in the safe there for yeah. emergencies. Um, but I do have a debit card, so I could take out whatever I need, you know, from the bank, and it runs as a credit card. So yeah, like you don't have to have the cash. But um, I was like, oh my gosh. And not, I'm not saying that it's not worth the money. Don't don't misconstrue what we're trying to say. It's yeah. just they were a little bit um, pricey when you're. Well, do Jeremy Fragrance has one, then he brought out another one. Steven said, "Bam!" He come out and said, "All of them. Here's six I'm of not, them for you. I'm not playing around. Which one you want?" And it's yeah. like I want them all. <laughs> and, but I will say this: you know, I don't have anything hey, against, against Jeremy Fragrance. Personally, I don't, I don't have any beef personally with him. I met him when we were in New York. Seems like a nice kid. My issues have all been business-based decisions on his behalf. But I will say, I do like the way his date smells. I smelled his original office. They both smell good. They both office are. Office was good. They both I are very, I... very designer-esque fragrances. Mass appealing. That I'm, yeah, mass appealing, but they're right. super overpriced for what they are. Period, in my humble opinion. And if you don't agree, but, go piss off. But look, <laughs> but Steve's doesn't it's come the same across. Price. Yeah, but when we if, smell if you, Steve's, if you look at price though. Let, price let me get to my price. point. Yeah, they're both expensive, but when we smelled Steve's product, it doesn't come across as a doesn't come across as a $60 fragrance. And that's what Jeremy's product should be priced at because that's what it smells like. Because of the Ambroxan or the Mass the, the, Appeal? The, the, not the, the Mass Appeal. I'm talking about the quality of the scent. Because me at first, my thing was the price. But the more we start smelling some of this stuff and I'm like, okay, it's $100. Yeah, okay, I can see buying it. And then we smell a $200. Yeah, I can see buying it. Yeah, And yeah. then we see eight. Where's your little mouse? It's right there. 875 bucks or whatever. But Steve's stuff comes across bucks. as being... A year from now, am I going to say yes? You're no. just saying Steve's is a higher quality. Oh, yeah, it, of, the, the of, price of, of his product is justified by... Ingredients. Yeah, the way it smells. It smells like... It doesn't smell... I'm going to say this. Is, yeah, it doesn't smell cheap. Jeremy Fragrance's stuff smells like a $60 fragrance. Well, I have to admit, when he sprayed, he came up and he sprayed a uh, date on my hand, mm -hmm. and it was me. Which smells uh, like a sweet sauvage. I like the way it smells. I don't remember who all was. I think Howie. He sprayed and, everybody and I think we were there. Ford, I think the three of us were standing in the little hallway, and he came up and two sprayed on every one of us. Oh, my God, there's oud in it. And I was at that point, we had only been to those two boutiques in Sun Explore, and it was just a super strong uh, oud to me. Yeah, and I don't but think there's was, oud. In, is there oud in that? I don't yeah. think so. Well, I can I'm smelling my hand like it's on there. Yeah, to me, when I smelled it, it. And it was, that's all I had got up my nose. And yeah, I see, said, I didn't. Oh, this is strong. And so if you watch the reaction videos of all the other reviewers that he was mm -hmm. doing, he was warning everyone in there. Now it comes off a little strong. And I was like, oh, yeah, he I'm tried so to spray it on me. And I said, was like, nope. What's it smell like? And, and the only thing I can say is, whoa, it's kind of strong. But that was me. That yeah. was my senses. That and, and like I said, it does. I like the way it smells. To me, it smells like it a smells sweet good. Sauvage. But I'm not paying $200 for a bottle of Sauvage. Because Sauvage is in a hundred dollar, eighty dollar. It's a fragrance. Sixty five dollars if you want the parfum. Yeah, like, and we reviewed that. And what did we and think you of that? Hate that one. I hate that. That's the biggest. I don't know what they were thinking. Kalan. Yeah. Yes, and that video will be coming out soon. Yep. But Steve's product doesn't smell like it's. It's worth the packaging and everything. Super yes. high quality. It's wonderful. So. You're you're doing a great job. Like if I had the cash to drop on your entire line. I wouldn't think twice about it. That's a lot of cash. Yeah. Well, now I'm going to say this: if I if had, had the money, if, if had I money. had the cash, I and I could buy Jeremy fragrances, there's no way you could pry that money out of my pocket. Okay, here's an honest thing. 
Jeremy Fragrance did a two for one, buy one, get one free. And I literally said, James, go in half with me. I'll put it on my card. I said, go in half. I want office. And uh, he said, no. So <laughs> I was like, God <laughs> bless. That would have been $90 a bottle. And that's pretty close to what that should and be that selling for. And that was pushing my price point at that point. Yeah. I was pushing, saying, well, if you would split with me, if you'd take a bottle and I'd take a bottle, I could justify in my head 90 bucks yeah. to get it because I wanted to experience. I did walk around with that scent stick. Now, I'm going to pretend this yeah. is a scent stick. I went and got a Zahora off the black water. one. <laughs> I had a spray. I must have smelled it for like an hour. I like the smell of it. Yeah, office. so do I. It's, you're right. I, I don't see it as a... If I could have got that two for one at the ninety dollars, and I that's was hoping that's what price. the ninety dollars was going to be at Senate Floor. I was hoping he was going to sell it. Remember, and then had I that sixty dollars. I was going to go coupon. get it. Yeah, and uh, he never did. They, the bottles weren't for sale at yeah. Senate Floor. I know that he gave a couple of bottles away <clears throat> at Senate Floor to some of the reviewers, right. Mo which from was Senate nice. Floor uh, got a free bottle yeah. of it, which was nice. It, it's nice. It makes me feel better about the dude that he's starting to support. Some of the guys that that do what he does. I wanted to, I wanted to buy a bottle, yeah. but it just it wasn't available. I don't. I, for 90, 90 bucks, if 90, it would have been yeah. a Sun Explorer, I yeah. would have bought it. I will say, if we if it would have been ninety bucks and we had the sixty percent off coupon, oh the sixty dollars, I'd have thought about it. about it. But I will say, I like I said, I really like his date because to me, I'm a big yeah, fan I of was, Savage. Was you to me, oh, it was, uh, Mo from Scent Nation was the third person. Yeah. Is what how he said. And we were in like this little hallway, so we were in a confined area already, and he got all of us at once. Yeah, so you're talking 12 sprays in a tiny area. Strong, and that's why you'll never see us on Jeremy Fragrance's channel reviewing it, because no. it was because of me. If Holly and Mo would have done it just themselves, they probably would have been on, but to, to me, that olfactory just like jumped was, in yeah. and... and it was just so strong. And then I remember smelling the uh, the woman's just outside of Zahara, the, the little small store that yeah. come overseas. And I'm trying to smell hers, and it's real light, and it's a, yeah, a it was floral, feminine. And I had to hold my hand out here where he had sprayed because that's how overpowering it was. It, you know, it could and be a strong, strong scent. And that's something else but I want to bring good. up. If you go and look at Carlos and Imitsu just did a video on both of the versions from his very first release of office to the what he's selling now he says that he has not reformulated that but both of those guys sat there and reviewed that and said there is a huge huge difference between those passion two. said the same thing you know they're saying that the what is available now is much more palatable they like it more than the original but if you can't be honest with your clientele and your people's work that yes um Trust in our friends here. Yeah. He okay. tried to spray me when we were there too, and I politely told him, do not spray me. Love the sweater. <laughs> it's not a spray, it's it's a this onesie, is, dude. This is a onesie uh elf outfit. It's yeah. it's you guys might have an elf on a shelf. <laughs> I got an elf in the chair. Elf in the chair. <laughs> we have an event called Awaiting Santa at my work, and you wear onesies, PJs, hey, civilized redneck stuff like that. Uh, and then on Saturday, we bring Santa Claus in, and then people are allowed to bring their pets in to take pictures with Santa Claus. So we do this for a whole week. Um, this is just one of the ones. How many onesies wear. do you got? I think I got like 12. 12 onesies. It's a grown ass I, head. <laughs> hey, look, this one don't have like uh, the butt flap. Right. It doesn't have it. But some of the ones that I have, like the one I'm wearing, um, I believe tomorrow. I gotta see what I'm wearing tomorrow. <laughs> but that's got the the union suit butt flap, yeah. and it's funny. They're just they're hilarious. I like having fun at work. Animal sheltering is a very stressful job. Yes. And people have said you are the only person that could walk into an animal shelter and make it fun and almost make it Halloween 365 days a year because we're always trying something because you're you're so stressed out. And if you could just throw some fun in there. I actually went to the chief's police chief meeting today looking like a little elf. And they were laughing and having fun. And, you know, when we left, they said, you know, Merry Christmas to everyone. And, and they were in a better mood. And, you know, you just walk in, here's the meeting, da, 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 and you're gone. Well, it's just like tonight, I, I made dinner for all of us. 
Russell and his boy are here because yes. it's late. And it's good. So I cooked to make sure that everybody got a meal. When I was, I had my back to the door when he knocked. I was just like, come on in because I knew who it was. And then was your son was like, turn around? Yeah, yeah his son was like, turn around. What was my reaction when I saw you? Yeah, I just like, what the, what the hell is this? <laughs> and then couldn't do anything besides laugh. You know, but that's Russell. Hey, Kevin, take care. Russell's like, personality. You out of here. See you later, buddy. Kevin, you mean? Oh, yeah, college. Like, no, Kevin. Kevin. Central obsessions. I'm oh, yeah, I'm, I gotcha. CDB is kicking in and he's about to pass out. There you go. Get some rest, man. And then Get he better. saw my suit, so then he started cracking up. Yeah. But, yeah, I have. Well, you've seen some of my crazy suits. How many crazy suits? It's got over, you said over 100, right? Well, it's about 60 right now, I think. So the obsession and collecting of fragrances only kind of goes in line with, I've got 60 crazy suits. I've got, you know, 12 different onesies. I've got, you know, you he has in so much more crazy suits than I have clothes in my entire wardrobe. Hey, if my wife were on here, but she don't do, I don't think she does YouTube. I don't know. I think she has YouTube, but she doesn't she watch it. Her follow. Um, she will tell you I have more clothes than any woman that she knows. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, I wish I had it's a like wardrobe shirts. that was. I have to have a ton of shirts. I have to. Have, I have slacks. I have dress onesies. Boots, dress. Yes, ones. I have to have onesies. I have to have union suits. You know, hey, watches. You guys have seen... I, I broke my watch again. The one that you just got? I, I Yeah, I had. Um, I, I wore that one for the longest time, broke it. I actually chipped it, and then I broke the band. I put that other one on. I think that last three weeks. I broke that one. You know who so. has an incredible watch collection? Uh, and that is Steve from Red Lessons. If you go through and you watch his videos and then look at his wrist, he oh, has an amazing watch collection. He's a watch hound. But you see this $885? Dude, you're you're talking five grand, ten grand for some of these guys that that have watches. And I like, would like to have how much Steve has in his fragrance room at his mom's house. <laughs> yeah, this you, know, is, you can go. Everything's I'm, relative. My watch is like. I'm gonna use you, Kevin. Central obsession of watches. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm my whole, not. My whole I'm, life is a central I'm, obsession. I'm not. <laughs> Getting gold Rolexes like Jeremy Fragrance yeah. did, you know, a hundred dollar watch to me is one that I expect to last five, yeah. six, seven years. When I buy a twenty dollar watch, I expect it to last six months. Yeah. So you got to figure out where it is and what you're using it for. And now, I, I see that you, you wear a I lot of diesel it. watches. I think I've noticed on your wrist quite a bit, which I am a fan you of want as well. Elf ones? I also, oh, you, speaking of Elf, you guys really need to watch the videos that are coming up soon because he has got suits on that are suits. absolutely Say phenomenal. Phenomenal. They they are they are battery powered. <laughs> That's as far as I'm going to say. But you guys have to watch for nothing else but to check out his wardrobe because well, you know what I'm going to be wearing. I'll be wearing something like this or my leather shirt. But his suits. Are worth the watch. This suit is worth the watch. Yes. But in the beginning, did we not say we would, when we were trying to get you to 500, I told them I would start including more crazy. Yeah, suits. absolutely. Yeah, when we start working on our thousand. So cool. Yeah. I had to start bringing some out. So what we brought out was seasonal for Christmas. So yes, do I have seed? Just like fragrances, <laughs> yeah. do I have seasonal wardrobe? Yes, he uh, does. Crazy suits. Yes, of course. <laughs> I wouldn't be me if I just had a gray suit on. Huh? Yeah, he has a battery powered suit. About 12. Do you have 12 of them like that? Maybe. I don't know. But not all Christmas. Not all Christmas? Yeah. Like different. you can put him on the side of the road and nobody would run him over because they'd be able to see him a mile away at night. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say because I have another suit that's not been exposed that you could do that to. Really? Well, the ones that you wore. I mean, if it was dark outside, then you'd be able. You the could, one that maybe, I really want uh -uh. is it's almost like a Tron suit. That'd be cool. And I really want to get that suit. Um, it's just that's I can get four suits. Oh, so it's like four hundred bucks for the price of one suit. 
Yeah. So, but do I want it? Yes. <laughs> is it on my short list? Kind of, kind of, but it just it just can't edge out some of the other ones because we're going to do a Spider-Man special. We're going to yeah. do several specials that I'm specifically now picking up new suits for. So, it just, so it stay tuned for, for the craziness because it's just getting started. <laughs> Seasonal crazy suits. Yeah, yeah. I do. I, depending upon what season I'm in and what we're doing. I have specifically... Well, you saw what four of the different Valentine suits that yeah. I have. I have different crazy Valentine suits to um, New Year's party. I could pick four different New Year's party specific suits. suits. So you got to see, depending upon what we're talking about, depending upon what season, and then you'll see those different suits come out. Well, it has been weird over two hours. We're going to go ahead and For real? Yeah, dude. Well, dude, dude, I haven't even. It's eight. Edited, I haven't it's eight thirty. We haven't recorded no content. Or for tomorrow. Yeah, we've got to cut this off. I want to say thank you I to you guys we're for going to record. Yeah, we don't have time. Life. Yeah, there's no way. Because I still got to get home, get my son, and you got to do stuff for the video for tomorrow. Do the video for tomorrow. So. So, man, I want to say that's thank the life you. Of a YouTuber. Yeah, it's is. grind, grind, work, work. Let's say, so do you have a suit for Groundhog Day? Do you have a suit for Groundhog Who Day? Who can pull off? I'm one of the only ones. Um, I have props for Groundhog Day. For Groundhog Day. So I don't have a Groundhog Day specific suit, but we've done special. And you got to remember, all this started trying to come up with ideas to adopt dogs and cats out of the shelter. Mm -hmm. So everything had a theme. Like I have kilts specifically kilts to get adoptions because they said, man, if you are a kilt, that would bring people in. So we all righty, let's try it. And so we did. Um, he says dress like Bill Murray. So how does Bill Murray dress? Like Shut that? up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I have that suit. <laughs> I have that suit. And he'll be pushing up daisies later. I have a wonderful night for yeah. yeah Thanks, Steve. Like I appreciate it, man. And like I said, we're gonna have to get off this, otherwise we'll sit here. We have the an, an intolerable gift for Gab, and we will sit here. Yeah, and, and I still forever. live a half an hour. Or, yeah, the other so, way. So. so he's got to get out of here. Roughly so exactly. we will talk to you later. Once again, thank you for everything for the people that won the giveaway. I am really happy for you. We will get and for the twenty people that stayed for two hours. What the hell? Don't y'all have yeah, a Yeah, we are not that entertaining. <laughs> so I appreciate every one of you. Absolutely. Now that we have the names, what we'll do is we'll reach out to you. We'll get or if not, because none of them are on tonight. So we will reach out to you, get your information, we'll get the bottle sent out to you. Once again, thank you. Speaking of. Thank you so much, Steve. It meant the world to me for you to show up. It yeah, meant the world for, for everybody to show up, really. joking around with us and everything. It yeah. Was, it was pretty cool. We will see you guys later. So we're going to cut it off now. And once again, it oh, still Merry Christmas. Uploading, so yeah. after it uploads, we'll put it. Well, you may have to do that if yeah. I'm driving. Yeah, I'll do if it. If you could just flick it over into to the, the community, community tab. tab. That's where you'll find the winners for uh, all the all four drawings tonight. Yeah, absolutely. So Merry Christmas. Have a wonderful Merry New Christmas Year's. And a ho, ho, ho. You know, and we will I talk to you. That. Yeah. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys soon on our next totally video. Bad. Like I said, don't miss the ones that are coming because, man, you don't want to miss his wardrobe. So we will talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful evening, and we will talk to you soon. And Bye, we're Cliff. only touching the top, the top. Me, so. oh and one last thing before Love i run you. i want to say thank you to everybody Love you too, Steve. for the birthday wishes man it meant the world to me at least not been done. i am now officially an old geezer yeah when you hit that 5-0 everything falls apart yeah <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna talk no about that no yeah. he's gonna end the video that's right i'll see you guys later peace thank y'all okay you want to end stream yes now I want you to sit.